guys, hello. Hey, hey. Oh, no, we're not going to come on tonight. And then I decided that we should. So here we are. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> yep, I'm sitting there just relaxing in my recliner. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, the real scooter, please stand up or speak up. I don't remember what I said. It was stupid, though. What she you answered said or speak up. No, you said speak up. <laughs> speak up. That's right. That's right. So, yeah, guys, tonight's going to be anything and everything. Um. Jose is going to be bringing me some stuff throughout the night, so <laughs> he's going to make a pile outside my door, he said. <laughs> Good enough boy to work. <laughs> he's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I already went yard selling with you today. <laughs> right? We got Christy in the house. Hey, Christy, thank hey. you for being here. <laughs> Hello, waiting. Hey, now Vemos. You can't take that live, Vemos. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, we got three people, four people. We're gonna hang out a few more, a uh, few minutes here until some folks come on in. Um, I think I shared it in my Facebook group. I'm pretty sure I did. Um, uh, but yeah. So, no, you, know, so you it's all right. They got some toys and some other stuff. I don't know. We're gonna wing it, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a few uh, wilting cake pans. If anybody's interested in those, I got a couple of those coming up tonight. 1980s, 70 something stuff. Oh wow. Those are good many. Spike fell asleep next to me. I think he's tired after last night's marathon. <laughs> he kept me up past my bedtime. Way past. <laughs> yeah, of course, I'm up at 8 o'clock, so I go hit the estate sales and everything. I didn't get home till 3. And I had to go back, pick something back up that I left. So. <laughs> hey, Gina. Hey, Harley. Hey. Hey, you guys. Um, I might be bringing a couple pieces of clothing tonight, too. Change it up a little bit. Uh, whatever's in this room and whatever Jose puts outside the door is what's going to be brought up for auction. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Patty T. Hey, hey. hey Harley, you're here. I got to show you. I bought this today. Oh, it's cute. Hey, cute. Mama That's, baby. I love that. So she can put that in Elle's nursery for her. Oh, and I sent him the link because he asked me today, are you guys going to be on tonight? I'm like, no. <laughs> so here we are. We're on. <laughs> right. <laughs> you just never hey, know, guys. That's why you got to be subscribed and get those notifications. That's right. Hey, wheels. Okay, okay. I see you ladies more than I did my wife in the last year before we were divorced. <laughs> well, hope you like. hopefully you like us better than your ex-wife. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, people will come on in later when they see that we're live. Um, we got nine people in the house. Let's just get rocking on. Are you ready to go? Let's go. Let's do it. No need to keep everybody waiting. Uh, how do you work this thing? There it is. Hey, hey. Thanks for being here, guys. Um, first thing I want to do, we'll do this. This is brand new in the package. It's a really country <laughs> uh, necklace kit, and it is from... 1986 plaid enterprise 1986 plaid enterprise it does say it down there i swear it does um has the directions on how you could cut and paste and how to make things i don't know so it has directions on the back of here let's do a four dollar buy it now for this 1986 necklace kit and it looks like it's uh all wooden pieces but this is a necklace and the pieces that it come with. So you don't need to actually make a necklace if you don't want to. You like the mother goose. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> hey, Michelle. Uh, I love you guys more than I love my current husband. <laughs> right, well, good. <laughs> 1986, really country, simple cut and paste creates a hand painted look on real wood. So you got the wood in here, you got the cord. What was that little doll's name? Holly Hobby or something like that? That little thing really set everything off for what that little girl looks like on there. I think I got one of those today. Seems like you showed one like that before. Uh, Not that. I was saying Holly Hobby thing. Right. All right, guys. If there's no interest in the really country necklace kit, uh, if anybody wants to give me $3 for it, let me know. I will put your name on it. Next thing I'm going to do. Good God, I thought I was out of these. I'm not. 
Leapfrog, Rocket Twist Game Pack. It comes with two games in here. It's brand new in the package. We're just going to do a $3 buy it now on this. Penelope Penguin Pet Detective. And it uh, comes with animals, animals, animals. Hey, Rev, there he is. Hey, Kate, hello. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, Holly Hobby. I saw that today, I think. Rev, I got you for $3. If you're coming in for this, let me know. <laughs> or if you wanted the necklace. Thank you, Rev. Appreciate it. Leap frog. I think it's my last one. Rocket. Whoops. Rocket twist. There you go. I got it. All right, Rev. I got your name on the leapfrog rocket twist. And again, if anybody wants the necklace kit for three bucks, I got you on that. Just tell me. The next thing I want to do. So let's just get this out of my way. This is all um, brand new in the package. I only have one. I used to have more, but I found one more today. So just one. If I have, if I do find more though, I will send you a message on uh, Messenger tonight or tomorrow. Hairbrush Holly. I got a lot of stockings, like you know, pantyhose stuff like that. We're gonna start the lot off. Let's just start it off at five bucks. First thing you're gonna get here is a sheer caress, a silky sheer. And does it have any size? It's got to have size. To uh, queen tall. Queen tall is the size on this. Um, you're going Rip, to you send that to Rhonda, by the way. Send to Rhonda. And hey, Red Devil. Hey, Red Devil. All right. I got you, Rev. All right. So you get the silky sheer, queen tall. You're going to get, uh, oops, fashion tights. Warners and these are extra large one pair size extra large You're gonna get another size extra large. So that's three. This one's a size small This one's a size extra large <laughs> Rev says he needs control top for his butt. There you go, buddy. I got you. I got you covered uh, another size small this one is one pair, medium, medium, large, Jones wear, and then I have another. I have a Dan skin, and this one is uh, small. So five dollars start. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get eight of them, all brand new in their packages. Hey, Mike. Yo, what's up, Mike? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. There we go. Any interest in the pantyhose lot? There's eight items in here, all brand new in those packages. A five dollar start, just to get it out of here. All right, folks. And if there's no interest, hey, Cool Ranch. Hey, hey. So you get some smalls and some extra larges in here. Go through them one more time. Hey, Julia, Julia. Hey. Extra large on that one. Extra large on this one. You get all eight for five dollars. There's this one, and then there's the band scan. All right, guys, I'll go ahead and put it to the side. If you change your mind, you know what to do. All right, let me get this out of my way, then I'll throw it on scooter real quick. Just kidding. Cool ranch. <laughs> hey, deals. <laughs> hey. I got Cool Ranch in at five. We're looking for six dollars on this slot. All brand new. Size medium large on the Dan. Uh, no, that's not Dan skin. A Jones wear. I got six dollars. We're looking for seven. This one's a size small. Dan skin platinum is what it says. Dan skin platinum. Silky sheer. Queen tall. Those look to be like a dark brown. These cool Ranch comes in at seven. Deals is at eight. Sparkles, size small, size small, size extra large, extra large, and another extra large. We got deals in at eight. We're looking for nine. And we get eight brand new packages. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My dad, he's driving me at the wall. <laughs> Cool ranches out. Sell it to deals for uh, eight bucks. All right, we're going once. Looking for that nine dollar bid. 
going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, Deals. Thank you, Cool Ranch. Appreciate you guys. Okay. Sheesh. Going over <laughs> to Scooter. <laughs> Hey guys, all right, so I got this bag today when I picked up some stuff. It is a green color bag. I'm just gonna do a dollar bite now. It's coming across as like a let me turn my light on and see if it nope, doesn't make it any better. But it is a bright color green, it's got the clear on the bottom, and it's brand new with tags. But again. It's got some clear, so if you're going to, you know, places where you got to have a clear bag, that would come in handy. You're sold to Rev for a dollar. All right, Rev. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, Cool Ranch. We just we just got here uh, 11 minutes ago, so you're like, good to go. Just got here. <laughs> no, one. All right. Next up, I have some vintage salt and pepper shakers. I'm going to start these off at five, but they're little kitty cats. And they both have their quartz in them, so you... Don't have to worry about trying to go out and buy some new ones. But they are in great shape. There's no um, chips or um, cracks or anything. You got Rev coming in at $5 looking for that $6 bid. Meow, meow. Aren't they cute? I look for your Hello Kitty today, Rev. I couldn't find any. <laughs> find it. Cinco. De Mayo. Okay, okay. <laughs> you start with Spanish again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We got Rev in at five. We're looking for six dollars. Eighteen folks here. Appreciate you guys being here. Go ahead, hit that thumbs up if you could. Really appreciate it. Any other interest in this? Looking for that six dollar bid. Hey Kim. Hey. Hello, hello. All right, folks, if there is no other interest, we're going to go once to Rev for $5, looking for that $6 bid, B-I-B. B -I -B. <laughs> oh, going twice, Vintage Kitty Cat Salt and Pepper Shakers. It is not sold until I type sold. Last call, y'all. Fair warning, sold to Rev. Congratulations. All right, thank you, Rev. And then for my third item, uh, this one I'm going to start off at uh, five dollars as well it is stone on the bottom and then it's got the indian here on a horse but i just love how you know it's got the little different colors and um just how different it is very southwest looking that's pretty is that metal yeah. um yes it is <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> i thought it was a uh, cardboard but no it's it's metal. You can hear it jingling or ting, whatever that word is. Yeah, you can hear it jingling, jingle, jingle. I sit too long of a nap, so I can't think now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, looking for that five dollar start on this. We got Patty Teagan at five. We're looking for six. Last stand stance. Last stand. And it does have felt on the bottom, so you know it gives you protection if you put it on something wood like or whatever. It does, Julia. <laughs> Patty Teague's at five. Rev, did you want to come on in for six dollars on this? Do you do? Don't you wish your girlfriend was stop it, Tiffany? Stop, yes. <laughs> You've been looking at yourself too much in the mirror. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rev. What you thinking, man? You want to come on in for six dollars on this, or are you gonna let Patty Teak have it for five? I'll wait a few more seconds here. I'm not sure how that lag is going, so I don't want to leave anybody in the dust. All right, I'm gonna call it slowly. We're gonna go once a Patty Teak for five dollars, looking for that six dollar bid. We are going twice. Last call, y'all. Rev, coming in at six. We're looking for that $7 bid. Oh, I forgot I had that. 
Patty Teague's back at seven. We're looking for eight. Nice little piece of stone. Mm -hmm. Oops. I like the lines that you see in that stone. Yeah, that is pretty. Oops. End of trail. I think that means he's out. Uh, I think he might be quoting what this picture is from. Oh. Yeah. Because he was saying it was last stand. Last stand. Dance. And I think oh. he's saying this might be end of trail. There's no marking on here that I can see, so. Oh, okay. I understand now. We got Rev in at eight, looking for nine. He's bummed because I closed the casino. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patty Teague. He's, she's in at nine. Is he really? I didn't know that, Patty. I, I try my best, Rev. <laughs> At nine dollars, looking for ten dollars on this. Hey, Horizon. Hey, hey. Hello. Be like Daniel. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when they do that. <laughs> oh, all right, Rev. Did you want to come on in for ten dollars on this? All right, we're going to go once to Patty T for $9, looking for that $10 bid. <laughs> going twice. Yeah, Last. I think Harley's got some Cherokee in her. Ilana. Hey, hey. And you're sold to Patty T for $9. All right, thank you, Patty T. And that was my three. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, whoa, well, Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that resembles a phone, I don't care. It, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. The first thing I'm going to do for this round, I got two of these. Let's just do a $3 buy it now. Uh, the brand new it tags alpha bags, and they're just little, little clutch wallets. Little wallets. Opens on up. You got the zipper. Put your credit cards in there. All kinds of fun stuff. Your cashola that I don't have much of these days because everything is uh, credit cards and debit cards. <laughs> um, it does. Oh, it does. They're originally $12.99. I got these from the boutique that I bought out uh, two years ago-ish. And they're both exactly the same. There we go. $3 and buy it now. Alpha bags. And deals comes in at three. All right, girl. Did you want one of these or two of these? Yeah, two years ago. <laughs> or a year and a half now. I don't remember what it is. Something like that, though. And she wants them both. Cash, what's that? I know. <laughs> it was <laughs> fun. Yeah. Bought out a thrift store in Dillon, Montana, and I bought out a boutique in um, Pocatello, Idaho. They were going out of business, and I scooped up the, the stuff is $6. All right. Got your deals. Thank you. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, I don't know if there's any interest in this. Oh, Mike, you did buy some of those from me, didn't you? I, I know I've had them forever. <laughs> I found a few more. Shocker. <laughs> I keep on. I'm not. Oh, I'm sold out. And five months later, son of a. Found more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? We're going to start this one. I put a $10 start. I'm changing my mind. We're going to start it off at $7. The packaging is not great. It is not. It's a Barbie uh, pretty princess. It is brand new. Um, again, it, it got really squished, uh, somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere, 
This is a 2001 Mattel. Pretty Princess Barbie. She's never been taken out of the box, so she's still pretty. Box might not be pretty, but she's pretty still. There we go. Here's the back of it here. 2001 Mattel. Pretty Princess. Uh, doll cannot stand alone. Colors and decorations may vary. <laughs> because they was cheap. That's right. <laughs> but I do apologize about the box. Got 2001 looking for that $7 start on this. Pretty princess. There we go. All right, guys. If there's no interest in this Barbie, whoa. Um, if anybody wants to give me five bucks for it, give me five bucks. Get it out of my house. You let me know. I'll be watching in the chat. And then I'll do this little lot here. Little crafting bag. This is stuff my husband doesn't really use at all. Um, let's just start it off at $5. Cool Ranch, you want the Barbie for 5 I got you, girl. Uh, let me put Pretty Princess Barbie. Oh, whatever, Kate. You're always looking good, pretty. Pretty Princess Cool Ranch. And then, Kim, Julius is coming in at 5 for your craft bag. You're funny, Kate. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So what's inside $5 here? Start. Five dollars start. Yeah. You got some like uh like gold tone bugle beads. I'll show you a little bit what's going on here. This is like some sort of like flakes, some like sparkly, crystally looking flakes of some sort. It's not for jewelry. Uh, I don't know what you use it for. Some more bugle beads, some little some smaller bugle beads in here. And bugle beads are generally they're uh, generally glass. I did not actually touch and feel these, but they feel kind of cold through the bag. Uh, you get some smaller blue blue bugle beads. Uh, you got some more flaky sparkliness. So I left it in this bag so I did not make a mess. Uh, some more bugle beads. And these ones are like purple, like iridescent color. Some more bugle beads. And then a brand new one in the package. Big value. Gla yeah. Glass bugle beads. You got 100 grams. Seven metal flake or mascara. <laughs> you can get the crap out of my case, but I'm still beautiful. And I pay. And I can see. What? I'm so I think Rev's coming in at seven for this. So, Kim, let us know if you want to come in. Kim is out. <laughs> you guys are crazy. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> we'll start calling it to uh, Rev right for seven going once. Wait, do you want this or not? <laughs> that was Oh my God! Why does why does my tongue not work with my my brain? I, I don't understand. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. I got seven dollars with with. Well, uh, he picked kitten, so I'm not sure if he's talking about this or what. I was talking about Barbie. <laughs> All right. So, Rev, are you in at 7 for this one? Just want to make sure. But, yeah, Rev's in at 7. We're looking for 8. All right. Hey, Picky Nikki. Hey, Picky Nikki. Hello. How are you? So, since Kim Julius was out, we'll go ahead and start calling to Rev for 7 going once. Looking for that $8 bid going twice. Last and final call. Seven dollars. Yeah, we are sold. Thank you, Rev. Appreciate it. Right. Heading back over to school. School. <laughs> you just love saying that, don't you? I do. It's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have another set of salt and pepper shakers. These are brand new in the package. Never been used. Um, I'm gonna start this off at five dollars, and they are stars. Salt and pepper shaker. 
salt and pepper shaker, red, white, and blue. <laughs> What's happening, Patrick? I walked into my tongue. Why, why my tongue doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yep, make sure you hit that thumbs up. We got Mike Kretzer coming in at $5, looking for $6. New in the package, red, white, and blue salt and pepper shakers. I know 4th of July is next week, but it will still be good for the summer. Why not? Well, we got Labor Day coming up, you know. That's right. There's other things, you know. Mm-hmm. They can hold a lot of salt and pepper, too, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks anytime, Picker. Appreciate it. <laughs> and welcome. Thanks for being here. I want the monkey salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, oh. She used to be one of my customers when I was uh, selling with somebody else. And mm -hmm. then um, we kind of split up. And then when I was on my own, she reached out. And well, we've been together ever since. <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey John, you got it, buddy. Not a problem. We got cool ranching at six. We're looking for seven dollars on this. If you change your mind, you just let me know, John. <laughs> hey Maria. Yeah, hey, we're, hey. Coming, we're coming up on a year together here. Uh mm -hmm. working together next month. Yeah, no, August. in August. All right, folks. Um, what's up, T? Hey, T. How you doing, girl? All right. Mike, did you want to come on in for $7 on the salt and pepper shakers? Or are you going to let Cool Ranch have it for $6? <laughs> I never know if I need to take Reb serious or not. <laughs> Oh, man, I used to have a bunch of those. Oh, I got a little blender somewhere, though. That uh, handheld blender thing that you sent to Harley, she loves mm -hmm. that thing. Oh, cool. Sorry. Oh, not a problem, Mike. We're going to have forgot I bid. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch the whole ranch for $6. <laughs> looking for 7 Going twice. Silly goose. Let's go. Cool. Fair warning. Oh, the cool ranch. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'll have Jose get me a couple out. <laughs> and then next I have a lot of stamps. I'm going to start this off at 10. There are 12 in here right now. And I've got more so I can add more to it. Um, so let me just go through them real quick. You got the little Sunday thing. Never been used. Uh, best friends. Never been used. You got the little starburst. Oh, uh, maybe beach stuff. You got the little candle, birthday candle, some little flowers, the purse. Original design by uh, Stamp Art, handcrafted, stamping up with the hands there. We got Picky Nicky in at 10. We're looking for 11. And then another uh, hand stamped. And some little swirly things. This one right here is $4.99 all by itself. So I'm sure a lot of these are more than. So that's all 12. Oops, I almost kicked myself out of the stream. All right, guys. We got Picky Nikki at 10. We're looking for 11. No, do Any that. I know, right? A lot of 12 stamps. Any other interest in this? We're going to go once to Picky Nikki for $10. Looking for $11. Going twice. 
Last call. Fair warning. Sold. Piggy Nicky. All right. Thank you, Piggy Nicky. All right. And then my third item. I'll just bring this back up since it's right here in my reach. Norman Rockwell poster book is brand new. Like it's never been used whatsoever. These go for, I don't know, 25 and up. So I'm going to start this off at 10. You get 20 full color posters suitable for framing. So you can easily take them out. And this one is from 1979, if I remember right. 1999, is that what you said? No, 1976. Oh, sorry. Yep, 1976. So, for that to last that long, that's crazy. There's no yellowing or anything. I mean, they're in excellent condition. I'm looking for that $10 start bid on this. 1976, Norman Rockwell. Daddy! No. <laughs> Bicentennial. He's got some good artwork, that guy. Now there's one here with the little boys up on the stool at the doctor's office with his pants ha halfway down. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> little boy scout. Maybe that's Cub Scout. I don't remember. But anyways. If again, there's no condition. We can go ahead and put it off to the side. All right. And that was my three. Thank you. All right. Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. <laughs> Jose was digging out the blender, so I was muting myself there for a minute. Um, I know, but Oh, it's okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. I have, well, I guess you're both the same right now. I'm just going to show this one, but I do have all the colors. We're going to do an $8 buy it now. They're all brand new in the box. I have blue, purple, pink, lime green, and that's it. $8 buy it now. And what it is, it's just, it's a little USB blender. So you get the USB charger right here. You take this guy with you anywhere. As long as you got a charge on it or a USB port, you're good to go. Open it on up. John Lynch has come in for eight. All right. And I have multiples of each. Um, I'm not sure the exact count. But I have at least, I don't know, I got like 40 left. So I have at least eight of each color, I think. I'll put the charger in here too. So you get light blue, you got purple, you got lime green, and pinky pink. Like a, I think it's more of like a light pink. So John, let me know what color and how many you would like. And this is the box on it. This is the brand Bayoxy Portable and Rechargeable Battery Juice Blender. And then it's got charging times and, you know, all the specifica specifications, about three hours, single working time. I'd, so turn off in five seconds, all that fun stuff. And yeah, the guy sitting in his car. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, those are the colors right there. That's what I have. I just don't have them right, right next to me. Imagine that. Would you look at that? Just look at it. He said a green <laughs> one. All right, you got it. Thank Anybody you, else want to come in for these? John Lynch. Green blender. Brain cramp, $8. Okay. Yeah, if anybody else wants one, you'll let me know. These are just great to shoot. Leave it in your car just for emergencies if you need to mix your protein powder or something, you know? <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and put. Oh, I broke the box. It's okay. <laughs> Robin says she'll take a purple one. And hey, hey Robin. Robin. 
Robin wants a purple. Oh my God, it feels like someone turned the heat on in here. Oh, what? I just got like really hot. All of a sudden, I'm dying. Oh. <laughs> my teeth do the blending. There you go, Rib. <laughs> okay, yeah, great for campers too. Um, okay, next thing I'm gonna do feels a little bit better now. Uh, we're gonna do a one dollar. One blue, one pink, and one purple. Hey, Zuli. Hey, Zuli. Blue. Pink. Purple. Got you. Thank you, thank you. All right. Hey, Sugar Plum. What's happening, girl? Hey, hey. <laughs> Thanks for being here, you guys. We're going to be... Shut up a biscuit. <laughs> I am. I'm so hot right now. I'm dying. <laughs> We're going to do a $1 buy it now for choice. This is rough. <laughs> First one here, High School Musical Remix, two disc special edition. And you got both discs in there. I'll go through it with you guys. I don't really have time yet. Uh, you got Jim Carrey, Yes Man. Make sure that's the Yes Man DVD. Yep, it is. You get Yes Man, Sex and the City, the movie. It's there. G.I. Joe, uh, The Rise of Cobra. Thank you, Robin. Appreciate it. Anger Management with Adam Sandler and Jack Nicholson. Yep, they're DVDs. Uh, no Blu ray. Never been kissed. Oh, I don't like that, baby. I have never seen it. It's cute. And why did I get married? <laughs> Tyler Perry. So one dollar buy it now for choice. I'll bring them back up if I can stop throwing them at you guys. That would be great. I'm gonna try not to. There I go. I'll give it a few seconds in case there's a lag. Otherwise, I'll put these to the side. So, why did I get married? Never been kissed. Anger management. G.I. Joe. Sex in the City. The movie. Yes, man. And high school musical. That's a good question. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead. Put them off to over here. Um, <laughs> stay. Sit, boo-boo. Sit. Okay. And then, I know... You know what? I'll wait a second. I'll do... No, no. Yes, yes. I know I bother you guys with this. Julia. One. All right, Julia. Which one would you like? There you go. Yes, me and High School Musical, the remix. So far, so good, Wes. What's happening, man? Thanks for being here. Hey. Why did I get married? <laughs> Never been kissed. Anger management. G.I. Joe. <laughs> It kind of does. <laughs> Sex in the City, G.I. Joe, never been kissed. You got it, girl. Thank you. Those are for Julia. These are what's available. If there's any interest, I'll be bringing up some more. I have a bunch more behind me here. And I'll bring this up just in case someone hasn't seen it yet. I got some My Pint Ice Cream Makers, $12. Buy it now. I have multiple available. I don't know how many, but I got enough available. Uh, make a Sunday every day. Just enough to make a pint brand new. It's by Dash. New in the box. Eat good. Feel good. I gotta try mine out. I haven't even tried it out yet. Let's see if I can make like a, I don't know, some sort of a healthy version of ice cream. I haven't, I haven't tried mine out yet either. <laughs> what if you do like sorbet in it? Well, that would be kind of cool. Well, I mean, it'd be less fattening and everything. It would be. <laughs> <laughs> For a little, have a spoonful, give the rest of Jose. Right. <laughs> All right, Cool Ranch. How many of these would you like? One, and two. And after Cool Ranch, Carmen came in for 12. Hey, Carmen. I do have multiple of these available. Uh, available. Available. 
I think I have like 20 or something, so don't be shy. <laughs> don't drink the Kool Aid, it'll make you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cool Ranch said one. Okay. Carmen, how many would you like? And then after Carmen, Michelle came in for 12 as well. Okay. Healthy ice cream? That's just bad. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> and T, she's always tongue-tied, it seems, here lately. I take after my mother, you know. And she, oh, she's blame it on her. When you meet my mom, <laughs> you're going to be like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Carmen said just one. And then Michelle, how many would you like? I think she drunk the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Just some water. I swear I got my 42, 39 ounce uh, sealant steel with some high quality <laughs> H2O, you know? <laughs> hey, Kim. I knew it, Michelle. See, I, I knew what you were thinking, girl. <laughs> hey, Kim, what's happening? So if anybody else wants any of these or if you want more, you let me know. But I wrote everybody down for one. Oh, no. All right. Oops. Let me put that there. And, uh, oh, shoot. That was my three. So we're going back over to Scoop Scoop. Eventually, we'll get there. There you are. <laughs> it is. Hey, hey. All right. Got this little Mickey Mouse. I'm just going to start him off at, uh, let's say, $3. Super cute. He has a, yep, it says Disney right here on that tag. He's got a little black mark on him back there. So but I'm sure that probably could come out. Somebody knew what they were doing on washing him. A little race car driving outfit. You got it, Michelle. I got you. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. Cute little Mickey Mouse looking for that $3 start. <laughs> Sex in the City DVD. He was just sitting over here. All lonely. Was that you or was that actually him? That was me. Oh, okay. Good job, Scooter. <laughs> Everyone, please play nice or send me an invitation. <laughs> the small children, they always wake the, the adults up. <laughs> All right, guys. If there's no interest in this little guy for $3, we can go ahead and pass him. Oh, okay. Mickey Mouse is so good. <laughs> okay, next I have a Vietnamese... Uh, I'm not sure how you say it. Karabati, something like that box. I'm going to start this off at $10. And back here it gives it is marked made in Vietnam and the price of it $95. Thank you. The lid does come off, so it's just a nice big open square box. You got it, Kim. Thank you so much. I got mine. I've got to try it out. Did you say there was recipes in it or something? or? In that little booklet, I think there is. Okay, or it tells you how to, at least what to add? Yes. Okay. All right, I got Kim down for an ice cream maker. Ooh, I'm going to mute myself. Jose's got some cake pans, so. All right. Yeah, Laura. Big stash box. Um, It feels like wood, Rev. Yeah, I would say it's wood. And then it's got like a varnish type finish on it. Big ass dash box. That's right. You'll be good to go. Could be a little bit of both. 
It's nice looking, though. Yeah. All right, guys. Any interest in this? Looking for ten dollars to go. I mean, to go to start. Hi. <laughs> and uh, then Cool Ranch. If there's any scratches at all on it, it's going to be here on the bottom where you wouldn't see them. Right there, maybe. Rev came in first at ten. Cool Ranch comes in at twelve. We're looking for thirteen dollars on this. And so, right here is that K word that I was trying to pronounce. Yeah. So, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> Scratchiolas. That sounds dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Want to scratch? Want to scratch Miola? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rev, would you like to come on in for thirteen dollars on this? We got Cole Ranch at twelve. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, don't delete it. I actually, I really liked it. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Hmm, out. Okay. We're going to go once to Cool Ranch for, oh, come on. Going once to Cool Ranch for $12. Looking for 13 Yeah, has anybody that bought one for me tried it yet? I haven't even tried it. We're all still looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Cool Ranch. All right. Thank you, Cool Ranch. Yeah, mine's sitting right on my counter, and I, I haven't taken it out of the box yet. Michelle has. Michelle, did you like it? Was it good? Yeah, did it work? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want to know. Did it work? <laughs> all right. This right here is just an Asian figurine. I'm going to start him off at $9.00. Oh, I'll mute myself while he cries. No. Oh. Here's the back of him. And it feels like it is probably clay, maybe. I agree. I should try that out, Zuli. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> hey Lori Hey Lori Concrete? Nah it's not heavy like concrete That's why I was saying it might be A clay of some sort That's like a little figurine Looking for that $9 start 39 people in the house Thank you guys for being here Hit that thumbs up Made out of biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> if there's no interest in this, we'll go ahead and pass it. All right, not a problem. And that was my three. Back to this way. All right. Uh, we're going to do some wilting cake pans. We're going to do a... Let's just do a three dollar start for choice. First one, you got this like little bonnet girl, like that Holly, whatever you guys were talking about earlier. Uh, this one is a Holly Hobby. This is where this is what I was thinking about earlier. This is where I saw it. Okay, Holly Hobby, nineteen seventy five. There she is. Thank you, Hakuna Matata. It means no worries. <laughs> For you got the rest of your day. <laughs> <laughs> philosophy. Anyway, uh, 1972. Akuna. 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 Winner gets her choice. Um, you got a t-shirt here. 
This one is 1979. These are all Wilton pans. So you get a t-shirt. And Lori Hayes is coming in at three. He looks like one of those comic guys. I can't think Ziggy. of the comic. Ziggy. What? Ziggy. Oh, it says it. Yeah, Ziggy. Uh, <laughs> 1978. I got three more to show you. Uh, <laughs> Wes was asking if those were bedpans. <laughs> <laughs> They could work as that too. 2002 uh, Sesame Street. You also got uh, Donald Duck here. Then this one is a 1983. And this is uh, Choice. Yep, Choice. And T comes in at four. We're looking for five. And then 1983 Payo from a Smurf. So Payo. Sesame Street. If you guys want to hear the years again, just let me know. I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Donald Duck, Hobby, Hibby, uh, Polly, Holly, Holly, Hobby. Hobby. <laughs> Horseshoe. <laughs> Laura said that would look like a, a, a toilet seat. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, horseshoe or a toilet seat. Yep. <laughs> I can't even think about that. I got corn fused. I, it's all right. I get corn fused all the time. Ziggy and a t-shirt. And Lori comes in at six. Carmen's at seven. We're looking for eight. <laughs> Holly Hobby, what? <laughs> right? <laughs> Magnet, that's right. <laughs> T is out. Carmen's at seven. We're looking for that eight dollar bid. Hey yo, I think that's it. Yeah. So I got one, two, three, four, seven. One, two, three, four. Yeah, seven to choose from. Tonight. <laughs> I know, right, John? All right, sell this to uh, Carmen for seven bucks. Alrighty. And after Carmen, we'll go to Lori. Oops, here we go. Going once. Going twice. Last and final call. And I think she did. You got Zuli down for ice cream maker, right? Oh, no, but thank you. I got you now. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right, Carmen. What would you like? Do you want Ziggy? Uh, Sesame Street. <laughs> Smurf. Holly Hobbit. Hover. Hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Sesame Street and T-shirt. And hey, Monster. Monster said he's here to start trouble and chew bubblegum. He's only problem is he's out of bubblegum. Oh man, come on, bro. <laughs> What's happening, Monster? And Lori is next. Lori, if you want any of the remaining ones, let me know. And uh, hey, Celestine. Hope I'm hey, not hey. missing anybody. Holly, who? Hey, Bonnie. Holly Hobby is what I've been trying to say all all this time. <laughs> Sesame Street. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Holly Hobby. Ziggy. Is this Ziggy? This is Ziggy. And uh, Smurf. Okay, I got you down for those ones. Lori. And then I still have Donald Duck and uh, Horseshoe or Bedpan left. Whatever, you know, you need to, to use it for. So if anybody's interested in those, you just come on in and let me know. Uh, let me write down Lori's name right quick. Okay. She shells, she shells by the seashore. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Mari. 
Holly Hobby. Okay, making sure I'm not missing anything. All right, we're good to go. Here we go. We're going to do a $1 buy it now for choice. I got a scooter if you're doing something. You got it? Okay. Yep. <laughs> so I got some more DVDs here. Uh, Jack Black, Be Kind, and Rewind. I haven't gone through these yet, so I'm just going through to make sure that they are there. Be Kind, Rewind. Uh, we got David Spade as Dickie Roberts, former child star. And DVDs in there. These are all DVDs. Uh, you got Bruno, Sacha, Baron. Oh, sure. Okay. So we got Bruno. Whoops. There it is. Let's see. Uh, Wanted with James Mc McAvey, Morgan Freeman, and uh, Angelina Jolie. Wanted. Blue Crush. This is a good movie. I've seen that a few times. I likey. Me likey. Horseshoe or bedpan. It's in there. I have no idea. <laughs> Nancy Drew. I got Nancy Drew. All the, all the manuals are gone. We got Big Daddy with uh, Adam Sandler. <laughs> and The Ladies Man. There we go. So, Lori, which one or ones would you like? I'll hold them up for you to take a gander at here. You know, let me know. Ladies, man, Big Daggy, Nancy Drew, Blue Crush, Wanted. Nancy Drew. I got you. All right. If anybody else would like some of these movies for a dollar, you let me know. Be kind. Rewind. <laughs> and I'm going to go over here to the side. Hands here. Zero needs... Oh, Zero needs the ladies' man on for advice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's just do. Let's just do the slot here. Get it out of my way. I'm gonna do a lot of crazy, Aaron's um sensory, putty. Sensory putty. This is cider delicious. So you're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six cider delicious, and you're gonna get two ginger snappers. So they're just some play putties for kids. So you're going to get a lot of eight. Let's just do a um, $5 start. They're all brand new. I have not tried them. I'm not sure exactly what they feel like and smell like and all that fun stuff. But Picky Nikki coming in at five. We're looking for six. Who gets the whole kit and caboodle? I've been sitting in my closet for a hot minute and uh, got to find a new home. Kim's in at six. We're looking for seven. There we go. So you get all these. I'll put them down now before I uh, make, make a mess. Lori's at eight. Looking for nine. You're going to get all eight of these. Oh, sorry, Michelle. Kim's at 9, Mike's at 10, looking for 11. Thank you, guys. If I find more, I will uh, reach out to you, Michelle. There we go. Lori's at 11, we're looking for 12. Picky Nikki is out. Kim, let us know if you want to come in for 12. These are uh, sensor, sen, sen, sensory putty. I'll get out here in a minute. Yeah, they're just little putty for kids to play with. But they um, have different scents. Yep. So you got two that are going to be uh, ginger snapper, and you're going to have six that are cider delicious. What you got Kim get. coming in at 12. Lori comes in at 13. Mike is out. We are looking for that $14 bid. <laughs> hey, Julie. <laughs> hey, Julie. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Kim comes in at 14. We're looking for 15. This is not a joke, Julie. This is not a joke. <laughs> We're really here. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. I'm going to make sure. Kim is out. We will start calling it to Lori for 15. Going once. Oops. Going twice. We are looking for that $16 bid. Last and final call. And we are sold. Awesome. Thank you, guys. And that was my three, so I'm putting it back over to you. All right. There. Okay. I've got five different Zippo lighters. And we'll start it off at $10, but winner gets choice. Uh, here's the first one. It is all silver. And it says Zippo right there on the bottom. No scratches. is in great shape. Number two is more of a matted silver flat mat, whatever you call that. Nickel brush. Got another Zippo. Number three is a gold one. Number four. Looks kind of like a silverish gold color. It's got that design there on the front. Zippo. And last one is a gold color. It's got kind of that design there on the front and probably a place where you could get it engraved if you wanted to. Again, Zippo. All right. I'm going to let you, I'm going to go mute myself and bring some stuff out of the room. I'll be right back. All right. So you got five to choose from. And again, they are all Zippo lighters. There you go. Uh, but Laura, it's not time for Spike. <laughs> Any interest in these lighters? We got Mike coming in at 10, looking for 11. Any other interest? <laughs> I am back. All right. All right. We got We're Mike. Gonna go Google wants the mic for $10, looking for 11 When I get your choice, he was just kind of about to ask to see him. Going twice. <laughs> Last call. All used? Question mark. Yeah, I believe they, these are. Yep. I've only had that one that was brand new that I sold the other night. Ooh, All right. And you're sold to Mike for $10. Congratulations. All right. Thanks, Mike. Let me know which one you want. Here's the first one. The second one. The third one. Fourth. And fifth. And Monster, everything's cool here, buddy. What about there with you? <laughs> One, two, three, four, and this one. Uh, this one is probably thinner than like this one here. So it's not wide. Would you take 40 for them all? You got it, Mike. That work. Thank you, buddy. All right. Second one here is a nickel plate belt buckle. And we'll start this off at five. Susan. Huh? Is that hi, Susan? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> so 
So you got the horse there in the center, and then it's got the detailing on the outside. And then right here, it's stamped, and then it says right there, nickel plate, and then some other stuff that I can't make out. Hey, Libby. You got Picky Nicky in at five. We're looking for that $6 bid. Nickel plated. Any old hats? Uh, not for me tonight. Yeah, I, I saw a ton of them today. I probably should have picked some up. But Yeah, this says hand polish. And then Linton. Something on the end there. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So there you go. All right, folks. Any other interest in this belt buckle? Looking for a six dollar bid. I got Picky Nicky in at five. All right, folks. We're gonna go once to Picky Nicky for five dollars. Looking for that six dollar bid. Oops. Going twice. You got it, Lori. I'll take a peek in a minute. Last call, y'all. Fair warning. Sold the picky. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And then for my third item, I'm going to start this off at 10. It is one of those beer signs I've shown y'all uh, some the other day. This one is Christopher Columbus. This one is really cool. It's got the little compass up here at the top, and then it's got the boat or the ship, I guess I should say. October, and then San Salvador. It's got the first voyage, 1492, second voyage, 1493, uh, third voyage, 1498, fourth one is 1502. There's Christopher Columbus right there. And then this right here, I love how it's got that red uh, candle wax stamp on it. And then on the inside, it does come with um, papers. It is an Avon one, and this one is 19, 1992. You got Susan Arrington in at $10, looking for 11. Cool Ranch comes in at 12, looking for 13. And you get the little uh, booklet that tells you all about it and everything. So that will come with it. Nice and clean on the inside. That's super cool. And uh, Rev is asking what was on the belt buckle for the picture? It was a horse. Super nice dine, man. And Susan, would you like to come on in for thirteen dollars on this? Can you hear that noise in the background? Mm -mm. Oh, cool. All right. Jose is vacuuming something. I don't know what. I, I don't hear it. No, I'm not the best person to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Susan's at 13, looking for 14. Nah, he stopped now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Lori's coming in at 14. Susan said yes. Okay. <laughs> Shut it off. <laughs> cool Ranch is out. And Susan, did you want to come on in for 15? Never stop a person vacuuming your home. <laughs> I know, right? Especially when it's not you. <laughs> <laughs> we got Lori at $14 looking for $15. i am going to give it a few more seconds here, then I'll start counting it down.
All right, we're going to go once a lawyer for 14 looking for that $15 bid. It's not sold until I type sold. Going twice. Do you have one of those with Indian stuff? Mm -mm. No, not on the signs, unless you're talking about the belt buckle. I don't think I got one of those either. Last call. Oops. Fair warning. And you are now sold to Lori for 14 All right. Thank you. Thank you. And that was my three. Okay. Here we go. Hey. So, I got a Pokemon Funko Pop. Eevee, number 577. It's got a pro uh, protective case over, over it. It is flocked, and it is a, um, a Funko 2020 Wonders Convention Limited Edition Exclusive. I am going to do a $25 start on this one. I'm going to try to show you the best that I can. There we go. So it's flocked. It is a limited edition exclusive from the Wonders Convention. You get the protective case over it, too. There it is. Pop 77. And this one is selling between, like, 35 and 40 bucks on eBay. Um, trying to give it to you guys a little bit cheaper. If you're interested in Pokemon, uh, oh, hello. <laughs> he scared me. <laughs> Pokemon Funkos. He's a cutie. So he's flocked. He's got the little uh, fuzzy hairs on him. All right, folks. Yep, I'm going to be fireworks for the next couple weeks. <laughs> we got that for sure. And, John, it's for 25 Yep, yep. So let us know if you're still interested. I'll go ahead. I'll put it to the side for now. John, if you do want it for 25 just let me know in the chat. And I will put your name on it. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Um, we're going to do $10. Buy it now for choice. For these two Funko Pops. Uh, first one here is I got Mewtwo, Pokemon 581. Has a protective case on it. And then, you got it, John. I'll put your name on it. And then this one is Vaporun, Vaporian. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Picky Nikki comes in at 10. All right. Thank you, Picky Nikki. Which one would you like, Mewtwo or uh, Vaporon? The Vaporon does not have a case. John, I got you for Eevee. Thank you, John. So Mewtwo or Vapron? All right, Picky Nikki wants both. I got you, girl. Let me just write down you guys' names and I'll fill in the blanks after. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do, um, let's just do this one. We're going to do a $5 start. LOL surprise. Uh, surprise charms inside. So there's some that you're not going to know what's in there. Secret mes secret message. Oh my god. Secret message jewelry. Jeez. <laughs> that was freaking rough, you guys. There you go. So it comes with all the beads and everything you need to make. Some bracelets or necklaces or whatever it is that you want to make in here. LOL surprise. Um, so it comes with... 295 accent beads, 42 alphabet alphabet beads, 42 alphabet charms, two rotating charms, 30 slider charms, three skeins of elastic cord, uh, three skeins of satin cord, three colorful bands, one sticker sheet, two epoxy sticker sets, one secret message decoder, and directions. Does oh, it ages. say age? Five plus. Five plus. 
Hey, Julie. Julie's in at five. We're looking for six. So you're going to get a total of 424 pieces is what it says. Mix and create messages. There we go. Cool Ranch comes on in for six. We're looking for seven. Let's be friends. Hashtag collect LOL. There we go. We got six dollars. Looking for seven dollars on this. Julie's in at seven. Looking for eight. LOL surprise. <clears throat> Okay, got it. And then we got Cool Ranch at eight. Deals is in at nine. We're looking for ten dollars on this. Julie is out. Cool Ranch is out. Revs in at ten. We're looking for eleven. Thank you guys for hanging out. There we go. LOL surprise. Whoa. <laughs> it could be a few nice pieces of jewelry or 424 pieces all over your floor. One of the two is going to happen out of this. Right. <laughs> and deals, did you want to come on in for $11 on this? It is uh, ages 5 plus. I'm not bidding on and had twenty. <laughs> you gotta make yourself some pretty little jewelry. It feels is at eleven. We're looking for twelve. <laughs> Silly goose. <laughs> I'll put this. Does it stand? Yes, it does. Yahoo! Look at that, eh? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rev, what you thinking, man? You want to come on in for $12 on this? We'll give it a few more seconds. If I don't hear from Rev, I'll start calling it to deals. Oh, excuse me. Hello. All right, call it to deals uh, for 11 bucks. All right, we're going to go once the deals for 11 looking for 12 Rev comes in at 12 we're looking for 13 All right. Thank you, Rev. Thank you, guys. Let's find it right now. <laughs> uh, cool <rant>. <laughs> <laughs> Deals is out. So we'll start selling it to Rev for $12 going once. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Hey, Little Martin's Nest. Welcome. Hey. True, true, I'm sleepy. <laughs> going back <laughs> over to Scooter. I feel you, Rev. <laughs> All right. I've got these uh, rubber stamps right here. Or I don't know what you call this stuff. But anyways, you got this one right here. I'm going to start this off at $5. Some sort of star there. Little squiggly lines. A sun. A moon. Hugs, kisses. There's like several in here. A heart. Another heart. This makes me think of that spiral graph, I think is what they called that back in the day. I love that thing. Uh, glasses with hearts. A foam scooter. Foam. <laughs> huh? Oh, foam. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I love you. 
got some lips. XO. Another heart, breaking heart, is what it looks like. Uh, some sort of flower design. And last one here is a heart. So you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, woo, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen of them in here. You got Picky Nicky in at five looking for six. Sold to who? The LOL sold to you. Was it to him? Oh, I guess it was him. Yeah, it was for to you for 12 bucks, Rev, if that's what you're talking about. All right, guys. We got Picky Nicky in at five. Looking for that $6 bid. You're going to get 15 total stamps. We're going to go once to Picky Nicky for $5. Looking for six. <laughs> you got it. Actually, um, I'm going to be doing all my invoicing tomorrow. I was going to do it tonight, but I decided to come on. So I'm going to do it tomorrow <laughs> evening. And then I'm going to get everybody's stuff shipped out of here by like Wednesday or Thursday, unless I have you on my wait list. And Picky Nicky, I think you're up to date with me. I think this will be new invoice maybe. Yes, I'll double check if it if it's if there's a lot, I'll send it to you. <laughs> hey, April, April's at six, looking for seven. Too late, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in an auction today, and I spent um, way too much money. <laughs> it was a good time, though. I had I enjoyed myself. <laughs> not not surprising at all. <laughs> <laughs> No, you should be all right on this one. Yeah. Next week, though, a different story. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Picky Nikki, did you want to come on in for $7 on these stamps? We got April and at six. <laughs> that was you, Rev. You you won the LOL bracelet maker. You won it for twelve bucks. We're gonna go once to April for six dollars, looking for seven. Here's like, all right, I'm capping out on this one. Going twice. <laughs> Last go. Whoops. It's fair warning. Sold to April. Congratulations. All right, thank you, April. Okay, I'm going to show my last two beer signs that I have. This one is football. Uh, it's got the de years on it of 1900 all the way to 1980. But you got the little football right here. Helmet right there. Nice and clean on the inside. Well, except down at the very bottom, maybe. And this is Avon 1983. $10 start on this one, if I didn't say. You already got it. Send to Rhonda. I got you, Rev. There. All right. We're looking for a $10 start on this. 1983 Avon Beerstein. You got where they had all the different uniforms from the very early to probably what they look like in 1980. Any interest in this? Handcraft in Brazil for Avon. All right, guys. If there's no interest in this beer sign, we'll go ahead and pass this one and she'll show you another. 
All right. And then the last one I have, again, $10 start. This one is the baseball. And again, it goes from 1900 to 1980. You got the catcher's mitt right there on the top. And then the baseball here at the top. I love the handle, how it has the detailing of what the baseball looks like. And again, the different styles of uniforms and stuff. And this one's from 1984. And April said, I don't think I have anything with you, Renee. Does she have an order with you? Do you know of? Oh, I don't think so, but maybe. I'll look here in a minute, April. If not, Tiffany's got your information. Yep, yep. Clean on the inside. Looking for ten dollars to start on this one as well. Do do do. How do you work this thing? Hello. Is this thing working? All right. Any interest in this beer sign? Looking for ten dollars. And five. Four, a three, a two, and a one. We'll pass it. All right, and that was my three. Okay. Oh, my camera's still down there. Sorry. Hey. Yeah. Um. We we can definitely hold for you. I know with yep. me, I think we only have like maybe three items, maybe. But yeah, definitely. If I do invoice you, just ignore it and uh, pay it later. I just do that so I don't forget what I'm doing. Yes, that's what we always do. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the sign here. Don't worry about shipping. I'm going to ship it standing up. You guys know how I ship. Um, we're going to do a $10 start. Sisters forever. You got the Ella and Anna uh, hug in there. And it does have a frozen sticker on the back there. Here it is. I'll get you a measurement. It's in excellent condition. It's on that like canvas. This is... Oh, come on. Where is number one? This way. This way. You're looking at 26 inches long and <laughs> nine and three quarter inches tall. So 26 by nine and three quarters. You got deals in at 10. Looking for 11. There was a Batman one that I wanted to get for Daniel, but it was all jacked up all over. And then this one was next to it all pretty, so... But it's probably your brother and sister, and the the, the boy ruined his. <laughs> and April, you I do not have anything with you, and so this will be a July invoice for you. But you can pay at any point. Why no? Oh. All right, we got deals in at 10, looking for 11. Sorry, I was just reading the chat, making sure I wasn't missing anything. <laughs> I buy stuff I don't know nothing about all the time. <laughs> and then I, I just bring it up to auction, and and uh, <laughs> the people who know what it is usually <laughs> tell me. <laughs> hey, Tiff, I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, you got it. All right, guys, we got deals at 10. We're looking for 11. Any other interest in this? And if not, that's all right. I'm going to put it over here and I'll start calling it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oops. We're going to go once the deal's for $10. Looking for 11 on that uh, Sisters Forever sign. Really good condition. 26 by 9 and 3 quarters, I think is what I had said. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold the deals. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Deals. Okay. And then, well, since this is right here, let's do it so I can get it out of my way after. I got a jewelry box. Hi, Lisa. Hello. 
Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Nice wooden jewelry box. We're going to do a $12 start on it. It's not super, super heavy. It's in really nice condition. Um, there's nothing written underneath it, so I'm not going to tip it upside down and get myself all confuzzled here. But there it is. I think this is what Jose was cleaning up with the vacuum and, and washed it all up for, for you guys. Super, super nice. And another drawer just like that. So you get the four drawers. You open this up, and it spins. You get the ring holders, the earring holder. Uh, then it spins back the other way. And then you can put your necklaces there and some uh, whatever, like, little... I'm not sure if it's vintage. It doesn't have any marking on it that I noticed. Um, it looks like it would be, though. And then you got the drawer down here. That's a pretty good size. Oh, come on. Super pretty. There you go. I got it. Come on. There you go. So I don't see any signature or stickers or anything on it that's going to, that indicates vintage to me. Um, there is this thing in the back. I don't know if it used to play music or if it needs like a little knob to play music on. I'm not sure. Super nice. Here's a side view. We got T in at 12, Lori's at 13. We're looking for 14. So you get the four smaller drawers. You got the one big one at the bottom there. And again, uh, open up this guy here. And uh, this little guy spins. Uh, T's at 15. We're looking for 16. I like this. This is pretty cool. And then Lori's at 16, looking for 17. I sold a few jewelry boxes this week, so I gotta put a sticker on this one so I don't get confused. We got $16 looking for $17 on this. There we go. T's at $20 looking for $21. Lori is out, so I'm gonna put this off to the side. And there. All right, I think that was all who was bidding, so we're gonna go once to T for $20. We're going twice. Last call, y'all. Fair warning. Sold the tea. Thank you so much. Right, put a sticker on there. I don't get my boxes confused. All right, scooter is not back yet. That's all right. That's okay. We're going to do this. We're going to do... Oh, Oh, nice. She'll like it. That's a really nice box. We're going to do a $12 start on this. This is um, ERTL Collectibles. This is a 1953 Ford delivery van. It's brand new in its packaging. This guy, it's super freaking heavy. Um, 1996. 1996, brand new in the box. I got John in at 12. I'm looking for 13. The replica... Um, subscribe to the rep, rep class, what it says. Officially licensed product by Ford Motor Company. And it does have a serial number over here. There it is. <laughs> I got more. I got more. <laughs> Die cast metal vehicle. I got John at 12. We're looking for 13. Federated Auto Parts. Yellow and orange and white. Again, for, for how small this is. Well, not even that small, but it's, like, really heavy. And you could definitely, if you didn't have any barbells next to you and you needed to get a little workout in, you know, <laughs> you totally could. All right, guys. Any other interest in this one? Nineteen ninety six, And if not... We're going to go once a John for $12, looking for that $13 bid. Going twice. Lori coming in at $13. We're looking for $14. Um, I don't know if you can scan this one. Well, I'll put it there in case you guys want to scan it. I looked it up on eBay. Um, 
a few days ago. I think it was like 30 something bucks, maybe 40 or 50. I don't remember now. I looked up a lot of stuff that day. Lori's at 16 looking for 17. Thank you guys. I'll put this down too. My new uh, electronic toy should be coming in. All my new cameras and video cameras. I'm going to start doing some different st uh, new videos on YouTube and stuff. So I'm excited. It should be in on Monday. So Monday, do expect a few test videos that will stay here forever. But they'll be coming on here. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right, and Lori is out, so sell this truck to John for 20 bucks. All right, we are going once to John for 20, looking for 21, going twice. Last and final call, and we are sold. Awesome, thank you so much, John. Appreciate it, you guys. Jewelry. I'm writing down a few things so I don't forget. All right. And since you're back, I'm going to take off for just a minute, too. And okay. uh, I shall return in like four minutes. And scooter and mute. Okay. All right. So, first up, I'm going to start this off at uh, $6. And this is an Avon. Almost like a, um, oh, what do you call it? Like a perfume bottle. Try and take the lid off. Well, I can't get the lid out. But anyways, this does come out. It's got the little rubber uh, spout thing in it. Nice, pretty blue with the gold trim around it. This blue on top, you can see through it. And then here's the Avon part on the bottom. There you go. But just a simple little bottle. You can use it for oils or, um, I don't know, perfume, whatever you want to use it for. There we go. <laughs> Take a second. But yes, that does come out. I just got to get back in. There we go. <laughs> Cute, simple little bottle. Any interest in this? And if not, we can move it on to something else. Next up, I have a little... Um, Your trinket box type thing. It does have the lid, but it's got a dragon here on the front. Super cool. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if you can put like a little tea light candle in here or an incense or what, because it's got these holes in it. Hey, cat. Hey, cat. And it's got Japan on the bottom. I think it says PCDG, something like that, but it is marked on the bottom. Bamo says that's dragonware. Meaning Michelle, what? That's, <laughs> that's pretty as heck, man. I would yeah. say put some incense in there. It's really cool. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. And that's yeah, the top of the lid. Michelle's at seven. We're looking for that eight dollar bid. Any other interest in this? We're gonna go once to Michelle for seven dollars, looking for eight. Looking, uh, no, going twice. Hi. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. Last call, y'all. <laughs> Fair warning. 
And you're sold to Michelle. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Michelle. And then my third item, this is a cobalt blue color. It just needs to be cleaned up. I'm going to start this off at uh, $10. It is super cool looking. Very pretty. Oh, nice. Um, and on the bottom, there is not a mark. There's no mark on it anywhere that I can see. Like I said, it just needs to be clean there on the top. Real pretty nice. blue. Nice blue glass piece. Looking for the $10 to start. Cool Ranch coming in at 10 Looking for 11 Yeah, it is. Like, it is so pretty in person. It's funny. I was looking at all kinds of glass stuff today, and, and then I thought about shipping, and it was really pretty. <laughs> You're like, nope. <laughs> I'll leave that to Scooter. <laughs> Scooter knows my weakness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Robert got a... Broncos pitcher that had the three Super Bowl uh, tickets or something in it, whatever. Anyways, whoever, he, I guess he got off eBay from somebody, but they just put it in a Polly Miller bubble wrap envelope thing. Just put it in there. Wrapped it once, maybe with some bubble wrap. And so when he got it, obviously the glass was just shattered. Oh, my God. So they're sending him another one. And he can keep this one. It's got a few scratches on it from the glass. I said, well, you can put that in the bedroom or, you know, somewhere where you don't care if it's seen or not. And then take the other one and put that where you really want it. Right. So. You got Julia 12. We're looking for 13. I think that can hold my glass eye. There you go, Rev. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He, he was not happy about that. I'm like, dude, it happens, though. I mean, just let them call them or whatever you need to do. Tell them you want another one. Cool Ranch is at 13. Julie's at 14. Looking for 15. And, of course, the boss is like, oh, that was my assistant that did that. <laughs> They're supposed to come in boxes, not in a... Polly Miller, Miller bubble wrap thing. <laughs> I got Cool Ranch at 15. We're looking for 16. Julie is out. We're going to go once to Julie for... Nope, nope. Cool Rancher 15, like number 16. <laughs> Going twice. Last call. For fair warning. Yeah. Sold to Cool Ranch. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Cool Ranch. And that was my three. Okay. Here we go. Okay. I got another. Um... Is this mine? No, that's not mine. <laughs> okay. It's not perfect. It doesn't need to clean up. I think actually I can feel it. This right here is just some sticker glue. It's going to come off. But it's still, it's not 100% perfect. It does have some little scratches in here. We need a good buff and dust and maybe a little touch up with like the, the wood touch up paint. We're going to start this one off at, um, let's do $8. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. Super pretty. Dust is free on this one. Hmm. Like okay. I said, dust is pretty on this one. <laughs> dust is real pretty. So you open up this so one. Did say the, that. <laughs> no. <laughs> you got the ring holders up here. This one here, you open it up. You got the spinny doodad here. You got a little cubby and the door over here. And you got then, Michelle in at eight. You got two drawers. 
There we go. And there you go. Nice wooden jewelry box. Again, it's a little bit smaller than the other one, but super nice nonetheless. Um, oh, there it is. This one is... About a, ten and a half inches tall and about nine inches wide. I still have a box of jewelry boxes from you before. Oh, yeah! I was desperate to sell them because I didn't want to move them with me. I sold you a huge lot of jewelry boxes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If there's no other interest in this, sell it to Michelle for $8. All right. We are going once. Going twice, looking for that $9 bid. Last and final call. And we are sold. Awesome. Thank you, Michelle. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do... Um, let's do this. We're going to just do a $15 buy it now. Infinity Pro Con Air. It is brand new in the box. Never been opened. 1875 watts. It's a three-in-one iconic ionic dryer. <laughs> there you go, Michelle. <laughs> you got three attachments. Detangle, strengthen, and volume. You get your thermal comb. There it is. So it's an ionic dryer, 1875 watts. I'm going to bring that up there. That's all the fun stuff that it does. And again, it is brand new, has never been used. Any interest in this? Infinity Pro, Con Air. All right, guys. If there's no interest, I'll put it to the side. If you change your mind, however, you will let me know. And you know what? I'm really sick of looking at these things, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do a $5 buy it now. I got two available. They are humidifiers, no filter, runs up to 18 hours. Homes, ultrasonic. I got one in Daniel's room, nice and lightweight, easy to hold. Just pop the top off, fill it up with water, turn the, the pito, and uh, there you go. You can see the seam coming on out. Uh, do not put it around any electronics as it will get the, the little area around it kind of wet. So lay a towel down or something. That's this I have used. And then, how, what was your uh, buy? Was that buy it now? Yeah, five bucks buy it now. Get it out of okay. here. I got two. You have two of them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It gets overwhelming sometimes. Exactly. <laughs> Zuli comes in at five. We're looking for six. Wait, no, it's about now. Never mind. Zuli, yeah. do you want one or two? <laughs> All right, I got Zuli, and then who bought that? Michelle. Michelle lying about the jewelry box. For eight. And then she says it will make you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zuli. <laughs> All right, guys. If anybody else needs one, I have one more available. Julie, sold to you, girl. I got you. And that's Julie with an M. Julie M. Uh oh. Julie with a what? M. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I'm good. Yeah, yeah. I've been writing. I've been writing it down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Five dollars on that. Okay, going over to Scooter. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. There you go. All right. I have one more of these red carnival glass. This one has the double-sided handles. Red glass, and it's got the iridescent. It is carnival glass. There's the bottom. 
nice and clean on the inside. Again, probably my favorite carnival glass. No chips or anything. And what's your price? I'm sorry. Uh, let's start it off at 10. Oops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, open fun. sugar bowl. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm not touching that answer. <laughs> <laughs> We got Julie coming in at 10, looking for 11. <laughs> That's a beautiful piece, man. Mm -hmm. And it's got kind of the scallop edge along the top as well. So, so pretty. Any interest in this? We got $10, looking for 11. We're going to go once a Julie for $10. Going twice. <laughs> but let's call y'all. Fair warning. And you're sold to Julie. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Julie. Okay. In case y'all missed it last night, I'm going to bring this back up. This was the dragon. $25 start. He is super cool looking. He's got the crystal ball there in his claw. Yeah. Open mouth with the tongue. Lots of detail to this guy. He's got his tail that comes up here. And then that detailing does continue there on the back. I got super cool. My eyes are closed. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this did have FF Mexico on the bottom of it. So I don't know if it came from Mexico or made in Mexico or what. Oops. But he is super cool looking. Yeah, he's sweet. Yeah, I was looking for $25 on this. And what I want to say he's made out of ceramic. And we're looking for $25 to start on this one. Yeah, it sounds like ceramic. Yeah. <laughs> Laura keeps saying my eyes are closed. Oh. <laughs> Rim, did you mean to come on in for 25? I know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give it a few more seconds because I bought the other one. I bought that other one. And if there's no interest in this, I don't see the dragon. <laughs> we'll pass it. If All anybody right. Fine, just reach out to us. Yep, yep. All right. And then for my third item, this one will start off at 25. It is a jewelry box. I'm not sure what this is made out of, but it's 3D. It's almost like a... Um, like a stone, maybe even a shell like as well. There's the detail. I did not see a marking on this one, but it is just stunning on the outside. And then on the inside, you have a mirror. And then you have the first tray there that you could hold whatever along with your rings. And then the bottom of it is an open bottom. But this is just super pretty. I love this one. 
Maybe, Maury. It might be soapstone. But nice and clean on the inside. Just need to clean the mirror, but I mean, it's in great condition. But super pretty. Nice size as well. It will hold a lot. All right, guys. Nice, pretty jewelry box. Looking for that $25 start. Any interest in this one? And if there's no interest, we'll go ahead and pass it. All right. And that was my three. Okay. Here we go. Um, I just had it. Oh. I don't know if there's any interest in this. It is brand new in the package. You get a pack of three uh, Sony eight hours premium grade VHS tapes, right and swipe. So they got some like labels in there that you can put on the front of them. Let's just do an $8 buy it now. Brilliant color and sound, high durability. Eight hours. Brand new in the package. And there's some blank tapes. There we go. Hi-fi, hi-fi, <laughs> satellite, durability, and vivid color is what it says. So if you're recording in FP mode, you're going to get two hours and 40 minutes. LP mode, five hours and 20, and EP mode is eight hours. That's what you're going to get. All right, folks. But if there's no interest in this, I'll put it down, put it over here. And then I got some books. We're going to do a $1. I got a scooter. You don't have to come back. All right. I'm going to buy it now. Uh, when I get choice. And they're all super vintage books like this here. Um, this is Harley Quinn Romance, Mary Burchell. Are they all... They're, they got different authors. Yours with love. And, like, for instance, this one is 19, 1980. It's in really good condition. 1980. So there's that one. One dollar buy it now. You get the White Pastures. Another Harley Quinn romance. This one is Celine Conway. I'm curious if it's the same publishing date. This one is 1962. 1962. Uh, the, flamboy the Flamboyant Tree by Isabel Ch Chase. And this one is 1972. And they're all the Harley Quinn romances. The hey, Patty Paws. Hey, Patty Paws. This one here is, let's see, 1969. So they are older books. One dollar buy it now. You're going to get your choice on this. Cool Ranch comes in for one. I've got 10 right now, but I do have like one, two, three, four, five, six. I got 70 of these total. <laughs> so if anybody wanted to buy the whole lot, I would be interested in uh, making a deal with you guys. But I do have 70 of these total. So cool ranch. Do you want me to show you all the titles? What were you thinking? This one's 1976. This one here. It's a 1966, The Land of Lotus Eaters. <laughs> uh, the Desert Castle. 1975. The First of Toretta. Uh, this one is a... 1974. This one, The Amethyst Meadows. So let me know what you're thinking, 1974, and then A House for Sharing, and this one is 1964. So I'll take 20, your choice. Done deal. All right, 20 of these books, I can do that for you. I'll try to find you some older ones. 
laugh out loud as users. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. And if anybody else wants some, I still have 50 more of these types of books here. Um, yeah, you just let me know. And I will take you some out. Okay. Good grief. <laughs> All right. Cool Ranch. I just write that down. And was that just one? I think that was one. I do apologize. Okay, here we go. Let's move on. Um, let's do let's do this one. Brand new in the package, factory sealed. It is a letter B. It's a it is a metal marvel open road. $9.99 price tag. Let's do a five dollar buy it now on this. There we go. You got some comics on the B there. You got Spider-Man flying through. Cool for a boy's room. Five dollars, buy it now. Brand new in the package. Originally ten bucks. And it is a metal wall sign. Or put it on your shelf or whatever. Kind of cool. Hey, Patsy. <laughs> hey, Patsy. Hello, hello. And this is, uh, I should probably get you a measurement. It might help a little bit. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. This is 10 inches tall and four and a half inches wide. So there is this little metal wall sign if anyone's interested for five bucks. I'll put it to the side for the moment. And then the next thing I'm going to do... We're going to do a $3 buy it now. It's that numbers game that I showed the other night. I just dropped it two bucks. Aerosol, number puzzle, great minds. Not for me. Uh, so what you're trying to do with this, it's brand new, never been used. Uh, you've got to try to make every row add up to 38. That is your, your main goal of the game. So if anyone likes number puzzles, stuff like that, there you go. You get to try to make every single row add up to 38 up, down, diagonal, whichever way. Side, cross, side to side. There we go. Yeah, I think I would be cheating on that and Googling. <laughs> and Laura comes in at three. I got you, Laura. Thank you. And let me know if you can do it. <laughs> All right. That was my three. And I'm going over to Scoot. All right, guys, I got this right here, uh, $4 start. This is made in Italy. I had one of these that was similar the other night, but the birds are just a little different. But it's a little trinket box. Underneath it does say made in Italy. I can flip it over right. There you go. Italy. And then the, little, the lid does come off. Just something different. I can't remember who bought the other one the other night. But this right here kind of has like a, I was saying the other night, kind of a coral reef texture to it. Made in Italy. We're looking for that $4 start on that. Looks like Capo di Monte. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Capo di Monte. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> it's pretty. Nice little trinket dish. Just something different. I think there's a little bit of a lag. So we're going to hang out for a moment. Not too long of a moment, but a moment. Any interest in this one? All right. In five, four, three, two, excuse me, and one will pass it. All right. Not a problem. All right. I got these because I thought they were cute for football. And then when I got them home, I looked on the other side. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, these are from 2009. But they are salt and pepper shakers. Little football jersey. You can keep them turned around like this, or you can have it the other way. 
and you got the Razorbacks. What's your start? Uh, four dollar or six dollar start. Chrissy, oh, sorry, I probably wasn't listening. Chrissy <laughs> <laughs> S came in for four on the dish, so that's sold to you. All right, you got it. Thank you, Chrissy. Okay, it they do have their corks, and then down here on the bottom, it does give you the information. Again, 2009. So, Pepper Shakers looking for that $6 start. Did you say what, what team it was? Hmm? Did you say what team is that? Oops. The Arkansas Razorbacks. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can tell I'm a big fan. <laughs> uh, Spike says you forgot about him. Oh, we did. Sorry, Spike. You get your treats, buddy. <laughs> get those treats, boy. All right, guys. If there's no interest in the salt and pepper shakers, we'll go ahead and pass them. All right. And then next, I'm going to start this one off at $7. And this is, you could take what's in it out, but it's laser, uh, laser craft. But it is a box. I love the wood on here, the detail of the wood as well. So here is the outside of it. And then, like I said, down here at the bottom, it does say laser craft right there. And then on the inside, it looks like somebody was using this as a business card or a Rolodex type thing. But you can always take it and use your um, do some recipes or you can just take it out, put something else in it. So... Nice little laser cut wooden box. Looking for $7 to start on this. There's the inside of it without that in it. And if anybody buys this, I'll take all the business cards out and just leave the letter thing in it. I love this. So pretty. Any interest in this? All right, folks. If there's no interest in this little boxy, we'll go ahead and pass her. All right. And that was my three. Back over here. Okay. Hello, hello. Uh, first thing I want to bring up, I got this really old liquor bottle. Uh, Beams of Choice, aged eight years. It's a Kentucky Straight. It is empty, of course. 86 proof. It's just a wicked cool bottle. I thought it was awesome. It is a screw top. Let's do a $5 start on this. You still got some of the sticker on the top there. Not too, too much of it. There's the inside. Uh, let me show you the bottom right quick. There you go. So some of the paint is chipping on it, but it does have like some gold drizzle uh, color going throughout the bottle. It's a nice glass bottle. So there's the front. Um, this is W A Mozart, and then here's the back of it. Here, I know some of you guys like to collect this stuff, so I picked this one up. Let me show you a little bit closer. There we go. That's what it says in the back. Got a little story on there, but just a nice old bottle. Here's the bottom again, and it says '73. So I'm guessing that says that's 1973. I'm not 100% sure on that. So there we go. There's a side view of it. Nice vintage Kentucky bourbon bottle. If any of you guys are collectors of stuff like this. Yeah, I saw one of those in a state sale and it still has some uh, bourbon in it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Robert's like, well, you take it and clean it up. I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one's straight up empty. <laughs> 
bone dry. Like that. There you go. can always refill it with your own bourbon in it. You could. You have to wash the hell out of it, but we got deals coming in at five, looking for six. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. It's loading me up with some more stuff. <laughs> Oh, bye, buddy. <laughs> All right. If there's no other interest in this, sell it to deals for five bucks. <laughs> All right. We are going once. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, deals. Appreciate it. <laughs> They don't want to see mama. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna do. I guess I gotta. Jose's just bringing me stuff, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I got a bag of fabric here, is what I got. There's quite a bit of fabric. I did not weigh it, but I'm, I didn't count it either. I'm not, I'm not gonna count it. But they're all pieces like this. Are these called like corners or something like that? Almost is like fabric swatches, I think is how they, is what they call those. Oh, okay. Well, I figured it'd be great for crafting. Let's start the whole bag off at, um, let's do $8. But all kinds of different ones in here. Oh, maybe you just watch this because look at. Yeah. Great for, for crafting, for sure. Cutting them into strips, making bows and all that fun stuff. There's a lot. There's just a yeah. lot. Um, I mean, just handfuls and handfuls of this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back before I get little threads everywhere. I think you blow your desk every night. <laughs> I hate stuff on my desk. It drives me absolutely <laughs> insane. Those fat quarters for quilting, but those don't look like quarters. That's true. They're a little bit longer than quarters. There's all kinds of different designs. So yeah, they they probably were um, swatches at one point. Lori's at eight. Patsy's at nine. Lori's at ten. Cute for making gnomes. Oh yeah, DIY yeah, quilt for somebody. That's right. There's a lot in here, like tons, tons of pieces. This is not a look at my head. I got a big old head, by the way, guys. Um. <laughs> These are samples. Oh, okay. Patsy's at 11, looking for 12. And there's lots of swatches. Again, some of them's going to have, like, the paper on them. So, I guess you could just cut that piece off and then move on. Or, I don't see why you couldn't soak it off, right? It's fabric. I don't know. I, I don't. Obviously, I don't do much with this stuff. <laughs> There we go. Patsy's out. Lori's at 15. We're looking for 16. I think it was a battle between Lori and Patsy. Sell it to Lori for $15. All righty. Excuse me. All right. Going once. Going twice. Last and final call. And we will be sold. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, and then my third item. Yeah, okay. <laughs> third item of the night. <sighs> How would I ship that? Mm, we're going to move on for a second here. Um, oh, there it is. <laughs> this needs a battery. Just needs a battery. Ficaro Couture. Comes in a black box. I'm going to take it out. Um, I'm not sure if it's ever been worn. Nice blue bling blingy. Let's start it off. Is it missing a stone? Hold on. Uh, no, it was just the way the camera was shining on it. Does it need a battery? Yeah. So it just needs a battery. It's a $5 start. And you get all the blue rhinestones on it. And this is a pretty decent size um, watch. Really pretty. You got like the rubber brace, not bracelet, but band on it so if you're allergic to metal that will definitely help you out there we go just needs a battery you got your your box to go with it 
to one focus. There you go. Nice, pretty blue. Ricardo Couture Quartz. Six movement. Yeah, make sure I'll pretend it's on one of those um, spinning displays. Any interest in this? All right. And if there's no interest, if someone wants to just give me three bucks, I'm cool with that. So it's a bling bling rubber. It is. It is. <laughs> so if anybody wants to give me three bucks for this, hey, look, I did a magic trick. <laughs> Um, I see Lori coming in first for three. Thank you, Lori. Lori Hayes, and that was a blue. I'm just going to put blue. Ricardo, watch. Okay. Thank you, guys. And Scooter, are you ready? Yep, I just feel like I'm losing my mind, but yes, I'm, I'm ready. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> I, I got something a while ago, and now for the life of me, I can't find it. It's like, what did I do with it? <laughs> All right. So first up, I'm going to do this lot of um, ink stamp pads. They are brand new in the package, never been opened. I'm going to start it off at $5. So this first one is Blazing Red Color. And $7.99. So you're getting a heck of a deal. This one looks like it is a raspberry color is what it says. Duh. And then this one is holiday red. And then this one is ultimate metallic gold. And then the third one here is a box of stamps and I have not been able to figure out what um, I don't know if it might be a blue color because there was a sticker here so it will be a surprise it's a package sealed so I didn't want to open it it just says stamp pad set harvest so I don't know if maybe there's like harvest colors like different colors in it or what so <laughs> but you're going to get all of this starting at five dollars you got Patsy coming in at five. We're looking for six. So you got one, two, three, four, and there is a set of six stamp pads in this box. So you're getting 10 stamp pads all together. We got Patsy first at five. We're looking for six dollars. April, would you like to come up? April's in at six. We're looking for seven. You got Patsy at 8, April at 10, looking for 11 now. This is blowing my mind. I cannot figure out what I did with that stuff. <laughs> yep. Like, what the heck, Pam? What you doing, girl? Patsy's at 12. We're looking for 13. Oh, excuse me. Still got 37 people here. Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. April's at 13. We're looking for 14. Um, I don't know how I could ship that. Okay. Speaking of stamp pads, I have some Stephanie Barn here more than 10 years ago. <laughs> and they are still juicy. I love it. Patsy's <laughs> <laughs> um, at 15. We're looking for 16. <laughs> juicy. Juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Still none of those, Rev. Yes, we, we've misplaced them. Mm -hmm. 
I knew you were here tonight and you were looking for it and now I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> and April is out. So we're going to go find my chat. We're going to go once to pass you for $15. Looking for that $16 bid. Going twice. <laughs> Last call. Fair warning. And you're sold to Patsy. All right. Thank you, Patsy. Appreciate you. And then I have a new in the box. This I'm going to start out at $5. Uh, it says it's tinted embossing pad. Uh, high quality art tool is filled with slowly drying ink developed specifically for embossing. Uh, touch it to touch rubber to pad and stamp as usual. Sprinkle with the embossing powder. So this is what that is. So you're getting a clear powder, a gold powder, a black powder, and the other one is silver. So silver, clear, black, and gold. Patsy's in at five or looking for six. And then on the back, it just tells you what to do and everything. Thank goodness for instructions. Huh. Right. You got $5 looking for $6 on this. Deals comes in at 6 We're looking for 7 Patsy's back at seven, looking for that eight dollar bid. What you thinking, deals? You want to come on in for eight? Deals is out. Oh, we're going to go Oh, one to Patsy for seven, looking for that $8 bid. Need to have a heat gun or a good blow dryer. Mm -hmm. Go on twice. Yep, that's what it says here on the back. Last call. Fair warning. And you're sold to Patsy. All right. Thank you, Patsy. <laughs> Okay, and then my third item here, this is going to be a lot of uh, comic books. I think this is my last set. I'm going to start this off at 10. And uh, this is sealed up, so I don't want to open it. Uh, but you got Justice League America on the front side there. And then on the back side, you've got Superman, the Man of Steel, and Robin. And I was looking to see if I could see a date on this on the outs. Oh, August 92. Sorry. Yeah, 92. Mm -hmm. And then this one is 93 is what it looks like. So there's that. And then you're going to get uh, this one sealed up as well. Blonde Bombshell, Millie the Model. And I believe this is like from the 70s from what I've shown the others, but this one is sealed up as well. And then you're going to get Sad Sack USA. And again, this one is sealed up. But I don't see a date on it. My mom would use it. But it's 20 cents, so I'm figuring it's got to be from the 60s or 70s. Yeah, you are, Patsy. <laughs> Glory, ten dollars start on these. $10. All these are sealed up. And then the backs are in good shape as well. We got Lori coming in at ten. We're looking for eleven. You are good. Yes, ma'am, you are. Uh, 
All right, guys, if there's no other interest in this, we're going to go once to Lori for $10. Looking for that $11 bid. And those are new. Is that new and sealed? Well, this one, the first one looks like it is probably, I mean, it's from 92, 93. But these, I would say they are in excellent shape. So, and then these two, they're definitely not new, but they are sealed up in the bag. We're going to go twice to Lori for 10, looking for that $11 bid. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Lori. Congratulations. Right. Oh, I got Julia coming in at 11 before the sold. Oh, you are correct. Julia. Julia's in at 11, looking for that $12 bid. Oops. So what I wanted to do. Lori's at 12. We're looking for 13. Bonnie's still here. Hey, Bonnie. <laughs> hey, Bonnie. Or Barney, as Tiffany liked to call you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. And Lisa, I got your... Um, Email? Hello, I can't talk. Hi, Lisa. I got your email. If you want to comment in the chat, I'll get you a wrench. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez, that was rough. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, Julia's at 13. We're looking for 14. Lori in at 14, looking for 15. Julia, Julia's at 15. We're looking for that $16 bid. Ow, my knee. Ow, my knee. <laughs> My neck, my back. When did I get so out of whack? <laughs> <laughs> and Julia, Julia's at 15. Lori is out. We're going to go once to Julia, Julia for $15. Looking for that $16 bid. <laughs> Going twice. Last call. Air warning. Sold, sold to Julia. All right. Thank you, Julia. And that was my three. Okay, here we go. All right, guys. Um, first thing I want to do, I got a, a Batmite. It's a Funko Pop Heroes number 300. He's got the black box. He's not perfect, but he's in pretty good condition. Um, it just says Batman 80 years. Let's do a let's do a $12 buy it now on this guy here. Batmite. Huh. First appearance, 1959. There we go. $12. Buy it now. There's the top of it. More stuff? Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> He's making you work tonight. I know, right? <laughs> He's like, you, you should go do a sale. <laughs> <laughs> And John, hey Bernard, John comes in first for 12. I got you, John. Thank you. Hey, Bernard. John Lynch got that might. Funko. Okay. And then I got. Oh, God. I got a lot of stuff here. Okay. We're going to do a $12 start. I'm going to get your choice. And these are, they're all in protective cases. Vinyl, The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Mare Plus Barrel. And are these considered, yeah, they're Funkos too. 
Uh, yeah, these are Funkos too. So the the Mayor Plus Barrel. You got the Disney on it. Second one here is Lock Plus Shock. Lock and Shock. There we go. Also in a protective case. Again, winner gets their choice on these. I also have oh, Sally and Jack. Sally and Jack. There we go. And then I got one more, and it's Oogie Boogie and Behemoth. Behemoth? 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 Yeah, that guy. <laughs> so. We got John Lynch holding a high bid at 15. We're looking for 16. So, Oogie Boogie, Lock and Shock, Sally and Jack, and the Marin Barrel. We got deals coming in at 16, looking for 17. Thank you, guys. I got a lot more um, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff um, around here somewhere. I probably have enough to do a full auction worth. <laughs> John's at 18, looking for 19. Yeah, it's cool. Deals is at 20, looking for 21 or 22. And they're all in their protective cases. They're all in good condition. John's, John's at, at 25. 25. Sorry, dude. Hmm. You're fine, dude. <laughs> we are looking for 26. These are cool. There we go. Funko. I got 25 with John. We're looking for $26. Winner gets their choice on these. Um... Lori or deals. You guys want to come on in for 26 or are you guys out? Put them down here. Hello. Hello. Right there. Before someone was asking for Sally the other night. Yeah, I think it was Reb actually. That's right, I forgot about that. <laughs> and deals is out. Okay. And Lori, what you think? We got John at 25. We're looking for 26. We'll wait a few more seconds and then we'll start calling it to John. And five, four, three, two, and one. And. Lori's out. We're going to go once to John for 25. Looking for 26. Going twice. <laughs> Last call. Fair warning. Sold to John. Thank you, John. Which one or ones would you like? Sally and Jack, the Mayor and Barrel, Lock and Shock, or Oogie Boogie and uh, the other dude? All four. I got you. Thank you so much, you guys. Appreciate it. John. Okay, let me put this down here. And let's see. I still got one more to do, don't I? Don't I? Okay, let's uh let's do this. This is really cool. Ow. Oh no, sorry, Rev. Came in a little late, buddy. That's okay. I got some more Nightmare Mary for Christmas stuff, too. We're going to do a $10 start on this. This is really cool. It's a uh, Judy teaching clock for kids. It's like a digital analog clock. You can change it to AM, oops, AM or PM. And you can, how did I, I was playing with it earlier. So yeah, AM or PM, it's off plastic. 
That's right, you get the knob back here, which will change its time. I'll show you that in a second. It is from 1999. 1999. Uh, you can kind of sort of see it there. It's a big old clock, though. And then you turn that red dial here, and it changes the time, so you can teach kids how to tell time. And it's in really good condition. I don't think it's missing anything. I've never seen one before in my life, but it looks like it's all intact. Seems to be working properly on this too. Oops. Kind of a cool little piece. And then I wonder, how do you change it from... Okay, so here... I'm trying to figure out how to change the hour. I'm a little confused. I'm not going to lie. So let's play. We got Carmen at not 10. We're looking for 11. It stops right there. So maybe if I go this way. It just stops right there. I don't know. I'm probably doing it wrong. I never used one in my life. So <laughs> 275. 259. Did I see 275? Oh, I was no, going to say, why are you seeing 75? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, you so, cracked me up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, what time is it? 275. <laughs> Never a dull moment with you. <laughs> You're late. You're late. <coughs> Carmen's at 10, looking for 11. That's like the ones the teachers used to teach with kids with. Yeah. I looked it up on eBay, and it's, that's how, how it was labeled there. It's a Judy instructional digital clock. <laughs> if you have a mini one of those, very helpful in homeschooling. <laughs> All right, guys. If there's no other interest, sell it to Carmen for 10 bucks. All right. We are going once. Going twice, looking for that $11 bid. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you so much, Carmen. Appreciate it. 275. <laughs> All right. That was my three. Bad joke. Not a, right? Not a good teaching clock. 275. Don't just don't let me teach and we'll be all right. You kids will be fine. <laughs> there you go, screw. All right. First up, I have a lot of paints. I'm just going to start this off at five bucks. So you got acrylic white. This one is new. It's got brand new. It's got the seal on it still. This hey, one is Chris. I'm sorry. Do you see $5 start? Yeah. Okay. And this one is Christmas green. This one looks like it is, says Pales Textile Ink. Uh, it's for stamping on fabric and paper. And it's black. And then this right here is a textile medium. It transforms acrylic paint into a washable fabric paint. This right here is just some black paint. Holly green. This one's got the plastic wrap on the top of it as well. This one is nutmeg brown. And then you got a bright yellow. And then the last one here is Santa red. And this one just needs to be mixed up, but it's still good. There we go. Santa red. So Rev came in first at five, then Corianne came in at six. April's at ten. We're looking for eleven. So you got two of them that still have the plastic wrap around the lid, and then the rest of them are still. They're either ha mostly full to full, and some of them just needs to be shaken up. So. Uh, shake it up. Woo -woo. Actually, there are three. The black one has the pl plastic wrap. Sorry about that. 
And how many are there? Huh? How many are there? Nine. So again, one of them is for uh, ink stamping like on paper or fabric, and the other one is to turn the acrylic paint into um, fabric paint. So, and then the rest of them are regular paints. Cool Ranch coming in for 12, looking for 13. Rev is out. Um, who else? April, what you thinking, girl? Who would you like to come on in for... For $13. I just ran out there. I'm like, Jose, can you please make me my shake? I forgot to eat 42 minutes ago. <laughs> you did that last night. I did. I don't think I messed it up too much. Nah. As long as you get it in. So now I got to stay up till 1 o'clock in the morning to have my other one. Gosh. I'll be up. To, I'll be up till one anyway. I know I am. <laughs> yeah, I cannot. After we got off last night, I cannot go to sleep till three, and that was even taking my sleeping meds and everything. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> like, did I, I really take those medicines? Because I should be asleep by now. <laughs> <laughs> I think April is out. I'm gonna go once a cool ranch for twelve dollars. Looking for thirteen. We're going twice. Last call, y'all. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> hey, wait. Wait. Can you pour it in a cup? <laughs> Golly. Amber sold the Cool Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Cool Ranch. Poor Jose. <laughs> thank you. Can I more? Oh, yeah, I do have a cup. Give it to me. <laughs> Gosh. All right, I got a lot of stamps. There's 12 of them in here. Gonna start off at 10. So you got heart balloons. Uh, bear with the hearts. Ballet slipper. Uh, a bow. And then a heart with a band aid. Picky Nikki's out 10. Oh no. <laughs> uh, basketball. Yeah, Woo! Throwing them at you. A heart. Envelope with hearts. A bear with heart. And then the last three here you got the hearts with the ribbon. A heart in gel, and then a heart with a bow. And these, I think, are like two ninety nine or so. So, still get in deal. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got Picky Nikki at 10. We're looking for 11. 12 total stamps. Any other interest in this slot? What flavor is that? This one is, um, what the heck is it? Chocolate cherry something. It's good. Oh. Chocolate cherry cake, I think. Huh. It's delicious. Oh, they used to be mighty fast. Really? I like it. I, I like the program so far. It works. It's working for me because I'm so busy throughout the day that eating the prepared little bars that I have to eat, it actually saves me time. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Oops. We're going twice to pick a Nikki for 10, looking for 11. Back in the day, they were nasty. No, I haven't had anything I haven't liked yet so far. I'm only day four of the program. Yeah. And sold to Picky Nikki for 10. All right. Thank you, Picky Nikki. All right. Then next, I'm going to start this off at 12. Beautiful top of the trinket box here. This is actually uh, via Vermont. It's a little um, glass 
greeting box. Here's the inside. It's got the mirror there on the bottom. You got the stained glass on the side that's purple. But I just love the top here. So pretty. That's looking nice. And then here's the bottom. Looking for go. that $12 bid. And I thought I saw. Yeah, it says made in Mexico. And this is 1990, 1996. 1996. Yeah, I'm doing the Optavia program. And looking these up, they go. <clears throat> Looks like most of them will start at $30 to $50. Wow. I'm looking for a $12 start on this. I will April for sure. I'll I'll definitely be updating you guys um through YouTube absolutely. Um I'll be making videos and stuff here soon. All right guys. If there's no interest in this box, we'll go ahead and pass it. All right, and that was my three. All right. No, so we're going to do an auction pause just for like two minutes. Um, no, Optavia, I, I just started doing it. I've been kind of doing the program without having the stuff for like the past week and a half because I didn't have my order in yet. But no, there's all kinds of bars. There's there's shakes. There's brownies. There's um, pancakes. There's all kinds of different stuff in it. So you eat five of those fuelings is what they call it a day. And... Um, then you have your one lean and green meal, which is like five to six ounces of ounces of protein, and then your your three servings of vegetables. And um, yeah, you got to eat like every two to three hours. And then after you get your goal weight, then you move on to your transition mode. I think is what it's called. Um, I'm gonna learn more, but so far so good. I am seven pounds down since the 17th, and I've only been doing the program for four days. But I was doing my own thing um, before that, so. Anyway, I like it. He said the difference between now and back then is now you have a coach. Yeah, yeah, I got a coach now. I, well, I got a coach. It's going good. Okay. Well, yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me, and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Um, this is this is a Boyd's bear. He's super cute. Look at him. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> I feel better already. I just drank my shake really fast, so excuse me. <laughs> Boyd's Bear. We're going to do a $4 start on this little guy here. He is super cute. There we go. Boyd's Home. And on the tag, it says 1988 through 2004 is what it says. What's your start? Uh, $4. Okay, that's what I thought you said. And his arms and legs, they, they move. You got like the button there. You got this. I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, probably because you can hang it on a wall or something is what I'm guessing. It is, what is it? 414 a month, but it's taking place of most of your food for a month. So that's a month's worth of food. And then you only have to go get your groceries for whatever you're going to have for your lean and green. So for me, it's actually saving me uh, money. So I'm not eating a bunch of crap. That I buy. Um, yeah, it's actually saving me money doing it this way. <laughs> Tiff, when do you get your salt and pepper shakers? I got a couple today that I found. Um, but I'm all out besides two or three sets that I got today. Unfortunately. I'm gonna, I think I can get some more though. So hang tight, Rev. I'll message you tomorrow about that. All right, guys, any interest in this cute little Boyd's bear for $4? Uh, he's in really, really good condition. He's got this nice blue bow, nice, like, dark red 
I think um, I, I I do not know the correct term, but like the bumpy texture. It's kind of like an off or off white here, and then his arms and legs do move. This tag is still attached. Uh, Lisa's in at four. We're looking for five. Why is the bear masked? <laughs> I know it's true, huh? <laughs> it kind of is. But yeah, Rev, I'll get back to you on that tomorrow. I'll see if I can get you some. I'm, I don't think he's missing anything. Oh, he's so cute, though. He's really good looking. He's a good looking bear. <laughs> All right. And if there's no other interest in this, you can keep on doing what you're doing, Scooter. Okay. We're going to go once to Lisa for four, looking for that $5 bid. Going twice. Oh, you found her? Thanks. <laughs> Last call. Right? He is cute. When you get him in person, he's he's a pretty little bear. Sold to Lisa for four bucks. Thank you, Lisa. I'm going to put red Boyd's bear. For four. All right. Awesome. And then Jose just brought me the salt and pepper shakers that I picked up today. So... Let's do it. Well, here's one anyway. Uh, this is a Mary and Martha 2016 articulated hands and feet. Yep. Was that a mini door? <laughs> yeah. <hold on. laughs> so you guys aren't so confused. <laughs> <That's the door. laughs> so that goes out to the living room right there. And then this one goes, the one behind me goes out to the, uh, kitchen and walkway area <laughs> this one here let's do let me put it in the chat let's do a four dollar start <laughs> mary and martha whoops they are oh crap i lost a rubber <laughs> uh. <laughs> i didn't mean to say that <laughs> i got it I'm sorry, oh. that was so funny. <laughs> be kind, be good. There you go. <laughs> just freaking out. Oh, yeah. Just got this little tiny door. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Bye, Maria. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out, Maria. <laughs> Mary and Martha is what's on the bottom. $4 start on this. Be kind and be good. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> All right, guys. If there's no interest in the salt and pepper shakers of uh, be kind and be good, that's okay. I'll bring them back another day. Just kidding. I'm not, because you know why. <laughs> oh, my freaking God. I got really, really. <laughs> I think I'm going to put a towel down. Because you need to do something. <laughs> it drives me insane. Black desk with anything on it, I freak out. I'm like, no. <laughs> Sell it to Lori for four bucks. <laughs> All right. We are going once. Maybe the rubber got pissed off. <laughs> Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. Appreciate you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> rubber and all. <laughs> Um, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Let's do a uh, let's do a four dollar start on this guy. This is from the movie Inside Out. His name is Anger. See, look, he's got fire coming out of his head. He's all. Oh, know. that was the first movie I ever took Emma to. Oh, really? That's right. Mm -hmm. You told me that. 
Yeah. He's a cute little guy. Uh, I guess these are his legs right here. <laughs> he's he's angry. Four dollar star. He's in really good condition. Still has his tags. Disney inside out. He's got his little tie here. He's a cutie. He's angry, but he's cute. <laughs> oh, excuse me. He's like flat enough. Maybe a good little pillow. <laughs> <laughs> you use that when you're working at your desk. <laughs> I'm, he, he definitely yeah, loves his rubber. <laughs> you know my invoices. Oh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> he looks a little hot headed. He sure is. Fire. Oh. All right, guys. Any interest in anger inside out? This is a wicked cute movie. All right. Sadness. Stop touching things. Don't touch anything. All right. I'm putting anger to the side. Bye bye, anger. I'm so sorry. No one wants you. <laughs> well, nobody wants to be angry. That's true. Nobody does. All right. That doll down there looks creepy. She's like looking at you in the box. It is creepy. I've, I've been forgetting about it. Oh my god, her head is torn. Stop. <laughs> She's got to go now. Lori comes in at four for, for her anger. Sold to Lori. Thank you. Yeah, Lori. I just saw her turn her hand there. Shut up. But her head is faced towards me. I never realized it until you pointed it out. But thanks for that. Yeah, because she just turned it. I told you that. I'm not even playing. I'm not. I'm not even. Everybody want to touch her. You're messing me all up, man. What was I doing? That's, See, you got that's me Annabelle. Four dollars start. Winner gets their choice. <laughs> I got Bert and Ernie, Wilton Pan, right? Yep. 1971, 1977, Mupp Muppets Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> She's saying, hello. Oh, my God. And then this one's 1979. This could be a number of things, whether you want to call it a, um, a jet. <laughs> sure. Um, if you just read my expressions, you guys, I'm not going to say it on live, but this could be something else. You can turn it, you can turn it into a birthday cake for a, uh, a bachelor party. party. A bachelor <laughs> party. That's right. That's right. Oh, but you can, it can be whatever it is that you want it to be. It's okay. It's fine. You know? <laughs> Mike comes um, in at four. Yep. I'm going to stick with the bachelorette party get cake. That's right. But then we also got Bert and Ernie here. <laughs> uh, anybody want to come in for five? Or the middle finger. Yep. <laughs> Square balls. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to round them out a little bit, though. You're going <laughs> to have to carve the cake with the, with the knife just, just a bit. Those balls finger. aren't perfect anyways. <laughs> Right. You know, maybe it's been a long time and he just, you know, funky things are going on. We got Mike in at four. <laughs> We're looking for $5 on this. Um, what are your choice? <coughs> the number of things that come without a rubber. He lost his rubber too. It's gone. It's done. <laughs> Rocking buildup. That's right. I'm not touching this one. Monster, you're still here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Frosty buildup. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine making both cakes for the same party. <laughs> <laughs> and then getting a mix up. <laughs> what? What's that? <laughs> Sell them the mic for four dollars. <laughs> Go once. Go twice. <laughs> once in front of gold. 
<laughs> and we are so. All right, Mike, which one would you like? Do you want Burton or Ernie, or do you want um, the jet? This one, the jet. Do you want the jet? <laughs> you want the jet, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Please say jet. <laughs> My whole family is snoring, and I am. Yep, she wants them both. You got it, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, in real, I'll do that after. All right. <laughs> Julia <laughs> won't big papa. That's right. <laughs> Size <big> matters. <laughs> <laughs> and I want cake, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. The projectile. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh okay i have my last lot of stamps i'm gonna start this one off at 15 because i'm just throwing them all together this one is a little kitty cat it's got the little handle there a butterfly little sunflower martini glass Thank you. You're welcome. Sand dollar. Happy Mother's Day. Jesus loves you. Yet we need some Jesus right now. <laughs> <laughs> A little scroll thing. Uh, some little, I don't know what these are, little spiral things. Happy birthday. To you. Uh, this is the clear ones. So this has got the little floral bouquet. You got the Japanese fan. Actually, I got two of them in this one. And then here's the last one. So you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Laura said, "Don't bring Jesus into this." <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we got Picky Nicky at $15, looking for $16. And a couple of them in here. One says $8, one says $7. Another $8 one, so I mean, we're getting a heck of a deal. I'm trying. Oh, my God. <laughs> the Jesus loves you. <laughs> Whoa. Woo, drop one. I'll get it. They got it, they got it, they got it. Oh, there goes the jet. <laughs> Lori, would you like to come on in for 16? We got Picky Nikki at, yep, she does. Lori's at 16. We're looking for 16. <laughs> Ooh, look, more pops. Oh, we get in that stack. And they're falling everywhere, but that's okay. <laughs> You're getting this stack. And this stack, and then there's one more that just fell to the floor. So, oh my god, get out of my way! Oh, Picky Dicky's at 17. Lori is out. We're going once to Picky Dicky for $17. Looking for that $18 bid. <laughs> Please, no more cake pans, okay. <laughs> 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 I just have to do that past earlier. Four dollars each for those. <laughs> Oops. Donald Duck and uh, the bedpan or horseshoe. <laughs> Last call. <laughs> Fair warning. This sold to Picky Nikki for 17. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Picky Nikki. All right. And then. I gotta remember that the other one's down there. Okay. These stamps have been open, but not stamps, ink pads. They have been open, but I've checked all of them. They still have ink in them. You got this one here. This one's called electric. It's electric. So there's all the different <laughs> ones. So that's one. You got a black one here. <clears throat> Another black. This one I think is purple. 
What's your start? Uh, this one, let's see. I got... Uh, let's start it at eight. <laughs> no, Mike, I didn't sell, sell the sugar the seed. Oh, my God. This one is watermelon. Did you want it? Holiday red. Orchid bouquet. Chira pink. Uh, black one. And a purple one. A red and another black one. So you're getting one, two. I can ink all over my hands now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You're getting twelve of them. <laughs> you got it, Mike. I'm going to call it the shitter seat, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, looking for an eight dollar start on this. <laughs> Good night, Patsy Crafty. Good night, Patsy. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> so, 12 stamps starting at eight dollars. I agreed, uh, deals. The cake pan, the the jet, and the uh, <laughs> that should be a duo. <clears throat> Use your words, Tiffany. And these are all the ink pads or something. Yeah, they're all ink pads. And again, there's twelve of them. So there's that stack. And then this stack. All different kinds of colors. All right, folks. If there's no interest in this lot, we'll pass it. All right. Put it off to the side so I don't knock these off. Okay. And then next I have some ink bottles here i'm gonna start this off at five so you have like a brown one you got a red one a real pretty blue uh this one looks like an olive green color maybe you got an orange one cool ran said to bill her and send it to patsy on the stamps or the ink pads. Just let me know, Cool Ranch. Yes. Okay, got it. Thank you. Make my note here to Patsy Crafty. All right, got it. Uh, then you got a Looks like a chocolate brown color. And then a black. And chocolate this. Brown. Huh? Chocolate brown or caca color. You got cool ranch up <laughs> And this is air dry pre enamel surface conditioner. And then you get like a little syringe. I guess. Suck up ink. I don't know. And then you get a little ro rolling thing. <laughs> You got eight dollars of cool ranch. We're looking for nine. So you get the whole lot. You get the rolling thing. You get the syringe, um, and the ink bottles. You get two, four, six, eight of them. What? You get <laughs> two, four, six, eight. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any other interest in this? Oh, Where's the gold? for the pads. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got you on those. Sorry, sorry. I thought it was a $5 start. I was just looking at the bid. All yeah. right, guys. I'm going to 
five dollars start on this lot. Any interest in this? And these are uh, inks that you would use, I guess, to refill, stamp the ink pads or whatever. All right, folks. If there's no interest in this slot, we'll go ahead and pass it. <laughs> All right. And that was my three. Don't worry. Oh, I'm taking notes. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't I'm not it. doing an auction. <laughs> right. Okay. I got a Pokemon with another Eevee, but it's not flocked or anything. Number 626. Let's do a uh, $10 buy it now on this one. $10, buy it now on this Eevee. Box is not perfect. And the ink for five bucks. Yeah. John comes in at 10. Thank you, John. So, Dales, let me know if you want those in chat. So this one here, we're going to do a $12 start. This is uh, in a protective case. You get Nightmare Before Christmas. You get The Devil, number 453. And you got it, Dales. This one was $12 start? Uh, yes. Hey, Jane. Hey, Jane. Welcome, welcome. There we go. John's in at 12, looking for 13. Oh, and Cool Ranch. Deals got the inks for five. We got John at 12. We're looking for 13. Any other interest in this pop? Get the protective case. Devil from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Sorry, sorry, guys. And if there's no other interest, sell this one to John. All right. We are going once to John for 12. Looking for a $13 bid. Going twice. Last and final call, and we are sold. Thank you, John. Um, and then this next one, we're just gonna do an eight dollar buy and now Star Wars Finn 191. There's the box condition, not not great, but not like absolutely terrible either. But there you go. I've seen I've seen worse. There we go. Eight dollars buy it now on Finn. I got you, John. Thank you. A little pile. All right. That was my three. We're going back over to you, Scoot. Oh, do another one. Do another one. I'm doing, <laughs> it. I'm doing it. Um, Let's do this one. Let's do a $5. $5 start on this. I got a little jewelry box here. It's like a nice dark reddish brownish color. Just need just a little cleanup here. Uh, very smooth. I don't, I'm not sure what it's made out of. Anyway, so here it is. Opens on up. You got the mirror there. And you got like a, a tannish, very, like a, with a pink hue to it. Felting on the inside. And then you open it on up. And you got the little ring holders. And then you got a little drawer there too. And then underneath, you have like a purple felt. And it says, <coughs> oh, it says made in China. That's what it says. There we go. But nice purple felt. So just a little jewelry box. Oh, I pinched my skin. It's fine. We're cool. <laughs> Ow. There we go. So you get the ring holder in here. And the other half of the box on this down here is uh, this one's kind of stuck. Like it comes out, but it's a little tough. I don't know why. But, and then there you go. Any interest in this little box? And Jane's in at five. We're looking for six. Thank you, Jane. I'm not sure what this is made out of. I think it's plastic. I didn't feel a thing. <laughs> well, I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> All right. If there's no other interest, I'm going to go once to Jane for $5. Look for that $6 bid. Going twice. 
Last call, y'all. Fair warning. Both to Jane. Thank you so much, Jane. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Yeah, Christy has came in. Okay, Christy came in before. Christy's at six, looking for seven. We got a snipe here. We got a snipe. We got small jewelry box. There we go. So we got Christy at six dollars, looking for seven dollars on this little box. Jane's at seven. We're looking for eight. And again, it's a little tough to get out. But that's what's what that is there. Get the little ring holders. I didn't pinch myself this time. <laughs> Christy's at eight, looking for nine. Excuse me. I got eight dollars or Christy looking for nine. Good girl. Yay, Tiffany did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna go flying out, that's for sure. You'll be good. And even, yeah, if you dropped it, I think you'd be okay. We got Jane at 10, looking for 11. Just don't give it a football punt. You'll be all right. <laughs> this needs a little wipe down. That's about it. I have a little treasure chest. All right, Christy, what you thinking, girl? You want to come on in for 11 or are you out? Christy is out. So in five, four, three, two, and one, we're sold to Jane for $10. Thank you, Jane. Appreciate you. All right, we're heading back over to Scooter. All righty. There we go. All right. This I'm going to start off at 10. They are nesting uh, little trinket boxes made in Hong Kong. So you got the floral print. It's in excellent condition. So you get this box right here. And then it's got a box on the inside. Again, great condition. So basically you're getting two boxes, one big one and then the small one. Those are cool. Mm -hmm. Oops. Looking for a ten dollar start on this. And what are those plastic? Yeah, they feel plastic, so but made in Hong Kong. Guys, any interest in these? And if not, we'll go ahead and pass them. All right. And let's see. This one, I'll start this one off at $4. It's a cute little silver heart shaped trinket box. And it's got the red felt on the inside. Uh, I don't see a mark on here at all. It's a cute little silver trinket box. Looking for a $4 start on this one. 
Julia Julia coming in at four. We're looking for five. Cool Ranch, would you like to come on in for five dollars? Cool Ranch is in at five. We're looking for six. Cool Ranch is out. We got Julia Julia at six. We're going once, looking for that $7 bid. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Julia, Julia for $6. All right, thank you, Julia. All right, and then my last little uh, trinket box. This is <clears throat> porcelainware Japanese. Uh, made in Hong Kong as well. I'm going to start this off at $5. So just a cute porcelain style box. And it does have a price tag on here for $15. Take the lid off. And that's what it looks like. Really pretty porcelain jewelry box. Looking for that $5 start on this. Trinket box, jewelry box, same thing. <laughs> Any interest in this one for $5? I'm going to give it a few more moments. All right, guys. In five, four, three, two, and the one. We pass it. All right. And that was my three. Okay. Here we go. All right, guys. Uh, next thing I'm going to bring out. Oops. Let's just uh, let's start it off at 10 bucks. I got a vintage eighth of a series safari shuttle bus you create your own caravan uh, this is a sunoco sunoco and let me see michelle that was made out of porcelain and this is a 2001 is what it is all right and he is i don't he's never been played with i don't think he's still got the zoo animals on the inside in here and the plastic baggies it's super cool looking oops Still got the. I guess I'll just leave that there. But uh, yeah, John's in at ten. We're looking for eleven. And Scooter, how how are you feeling? Do you want to go on for a little bit longer, or are you feeling like getting off? What's your deal? What it's you only a do? pee, girl. I'm I'm good. Uh, if you're ready to get off, then I'm fine with that too. So whatever you want to do. Let's roll. Let's keep on going. We got John in at ten. We're looking for eleven. So no right. Michelle, I've got you down for that box. Thank you so much. 2001. Any other interest in the safari bus? Don't touch. Don't touch, Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> Sunoco 2001. All right, guys. If there's no other interest, uh, go ahead, sell it to John for five, uh, not five, ten bucks. <laughs> All right, we're going what? You know, so let's roll. Yeah, he's like, I'll, I'll take a five deal sold. Going twice. Oh, Baymo said, "Let's roll." I get yeah, it. let's do this thing. Last and final call, and we are sold. Thank you, John. Ha! <laughs> I got it. All right. In that case, get yourself ready for a few uh, extra rounds because I'm going to have to uh, empty out the space behind me and get a few more things, okay? All right. That's what I'm doing right now because i got to grab some more stuff. All right. You keep on grabbing, and then I'll, I'll, I'll take off for like five minutes.
<laughs> Sonoko. That's not how you spell that. Safari bus. Okay. Uh, this one here we're going to do. Let's do a $10 buy it now on this one. Box is not perfect. Uh, Funko Pop Avengers Captain Marvel number 459. There she is. There she blows. $10. Buy it now on this one here. Number 459. Any interest in this one? John. I got you, John. Thank you, thank you. So much. Okay. And then my next one, we're going to do a $8 buy it now. This is Star Wars DJ. Oops, I should write that in. Hey, I'm Jazz. Hello, hello. Welcome to the late night auction. Yeah, we've been on for three and a half hours, and we're still going to go for a little while. I don't know if it's going to be 20 minutes or another hour or two, but I don't know. We're going to wing it. <laughs> DJ from Star Wars 207 and John. Thank you, John. All right. Do you need another minute, Scooter? Yeah, give me one more. No, you're good. Okay. And then we're going to do another $10 buy it now on this. Because I have it right next to me. Uh, Black Widow, number 620. Exclusive Marvel Collector Court. Uh, Alex Alexiae? Alexiae? I've never seen that. So, there's this guy. $10. Buy it now. And that's just uh, a blue tape. That'll come off nice and easy. This shouldn't rip anything at all. John, I got you. Thank you, John. John. This is, uh... Six twenty. Okay, and then this little guy, he's cute. Okay, we're gonna do a two dollar start. This is nineteen ninety seven. Looney Tunes. He's a little stuffed animal. He is itty bitty, but he is in great condition. He got little Bugs Bunny here. He still got his tag. He's got his Looney Tunes tag. Uh, and then on the back side, it says 1997 over here. And then you get the ace uh, tag on the other one here. He's a cutie. I don't remember what he says from the, from, from the show, so I can't really... Uh... What's up, Doc? Is that him? Yeah, this, that's Bugs Bunny. What's up, Doc? Looking for a $2 start on this little guy. 1997 Looney Tunes. Um, he is... Let's see. Let's just check it out. From the ear to his tush, you're about nine inches. Nine inches tall. Or he's coming in at two dollars. We're looking for three. Let's get the little plastic eyeballs. All right, guys. If there's no other interest, we're going once to Lori for two dollars. Looking for that three dollar bid. Going twice. Last call. For, for fair warning. Sold to Lori for two dollars. Thank you, Lori. Appreciate it. All right. And then, are you ready, Scoop? I'm ready. All right. I'm gonna mute myself and I'm gonna move everything and I'll be back in a few minutes. Just keep on rolling. All right. All right, guys. So first up, um. This, I think it's like made in Germany. It's made over in Europe somewhere. I'm going to start this off at uh, $12. And what it is, it's just a dish. But it's vintage. Real pretty, like a tillish green color. Floral print. 
It's got the gold trim on there as well. It's got the little foot pedestals. But the guy that I got these um, plates and stuff from, he traveled all over the world. And some of them came from China, some came from Russia, Germany, all that area. And he had been a collector for a long, long time. So, but it's just super pretty. Any interest in this? I just love the colors in this. It's just so pretty and all the details in it. Yeah, it's really beautiful. A lot prettier in person. All right, guys. If there's no interest, we can pass it. If you decide you want anything tonight that's been passed, just let us know. Send us an email. Uh, send us a message in Facebook if you're friends with us on Facebook. So I'm going to no-sell that one. And Lisa, did I say hello? Hello, Lisa. <laughs> Next up, I have a cross stitch. Uh, that's called the Tiger. I'm going to start this at $4 start. Brand new in the package. Never been opened. It's called the Tiger. It's got the little tigers right there. Uh, let's see, from 1992, and it's an 8 by 10 is what it finishes at. We got Rev at 4, looking for 5. There's all your thread and the instructions along with the, um, the cross-stitching pattern. Endanger Youngins. Anybody want to come in for 5? <laughs> That's right, Barbie bathtub. <laughs> That'd be a fancy bathtub, but it's got the claw feet, so. <laughs> All right, we'll start calling this the Rev for four, going once. Going twice. Last and final call. Shalom. Shalom. And we are sold to Rev. Thank you, Rev. All right. And then my third item here. I'm going to start this off at $8. It is a Coca-Cola sign. It says ice cold Coca-Cola. As always, five cents. And then on the back of here, it's got... Um, doesn't have the date, I thought, but it says it's the same process, pro popular, popularized, I cannot talk, in the early 1900s, but it's a porcelain advertising sign. So it gives you all the details and everything right there on that little paper. About $8 start for this. Oh, you don't want the cross stitching? Gotcha. Yeah, this thing I can't, yeah, I can't go up for on that one. All right, sorry about that. I am back. If that's what you're talking about. Let me know, Rev, if that's what you're talking about. So I'll take you off for that on the cross stitching. Yeah, I, I paid way more than $4 for this, so I, I can't let that go at 4 All right, guys. I am bidding for the tiny tub. Yeah, he's talking about this right here that I showed. Oh, okay. And then Mike's on 8 on the Coke. <laughs> Looking for 9 Right. Any other interest in this Coke sign? Looking for $9 on this. We got Mike in at 8 
We're going to go with porcelain sign. Oh, it's porcelain? Uh, yeah, it says porcelain advertising sign. Oh, I thought it was a metal sign. Okay, cool. Yeah. It, fit, it sounds like metal. So. We're going to go twice to Mike for $8 on this, looking for that $9 bid. Last call. What did the base start at? And you're sold to Mike, so go ahead and um, show what you were showing before then. All right. Write that down. Okay, so if you're talking about uh, this right here, Rev, I started it at 12, I believe. Yeah, this was $12. So $12 for the tub rev. And then uh, Monster Zero said they'll take the cross-stitch kit. All right, you got it. Thank you, Monster. <laughs> I don't think I've had anything else that was German. Hi, All right. Rev. <laughs> All right, so that was my three. You can go ahead and show another one if you like. Okay. And any markings on the Barbie's tub? Uh, <laughs> no, I just know from uh, everything that the guy had purchased or collected, that's where they all came from. So, but there, there is not any markings on that one. All right, making the note for monster on the other. Uh, let's see. Ren this Rev one, I'm sorry, Rev came in for twelve. All right, you got it, Rev. Thank you. All right, this one I'll start off at five dollars. Again, it's from that same collector. Nice and vintage. It's got the gold up here, some floral print, and then the blue yellow leaves with the floral on the inside. And Scooter, do you still have the Arkansas salt and pepper shakers? I do, Monster. Do you want them? <laughs> I'll be <laughs> glad to send them to you. <laughs> So, again, no markings on this one. But, again, I know they came from overseas. Yep, Rev, we got you. You're good to go. Yep, we got you, buddy. Thank you. And then, Monster, you want those salt and pepper shakers? They are yours. Thank That's you, thank you. Really pretty little leaf dish. All right, guys, looking for a $5 start on this one. Good night, Rev. Thanks for hanging out. Good night, Rev. Thank you. All right, guys, looking for $5 to start on this. And if there is no interest, we'll pass it. All right. And that, do you want to go now? Sure. <laughs> okay. I'll come back. All right, guys. Uh, this next thing I got here, this is a American Graffiti 1956 Ford Thunderbird is what's inside of here. Um, I do believe it's die cast. I'll find out. It's on a 124 scale. Um, it's looking for a year. 2007? Yeah, 2007 uh, AM General LLC. Let's do a, um, let's just do a $10, $10 buy it now on this. Hey, KJ. Hey, KJ. Welcome. $10 buy it now? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Really nice looking car. Box is not great, but still cool. Cool ranch. I got you, girl. Cool ranch. 
And what is this card? <laughs> uh, 1956 Ford Thunderbird. Okay, put that over there. The next one I'm going to do, oh, let's just do another $10 buy it now. This is a Maisto Premier DC. It's a one on a 24 scale again, 1967 Ford Mustang GT. There you go. Um, this one is, this one is, I'm not sure. I'll be quite honest with you. But there we go. And Cool Ranch, I got you on this one too. Thank you. And the next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do a $25 buy it now. Pokemon 455. We got Charmander. He is flocked and it's a uh, limited edition from the 2020 Spring Convention. He is an exclusive. He has a protective case as well. $25, buy it now on this one. Excuse me. He's selling between like 30... Thank you, 25. Thank you, Picky. All right, awesome. Well, that was a fast. And Scooter, are you ready? Yep. Going over to you. All right. All right. Got some more of those uh, pieces that I was showing you earlier. This one I'm going to start off at 10. Little uh, picture. Got the floral and the gold there. Nice little handle. <laughs> they get a little bit of fuzz on them. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> oh, how come my weird error try again? It's not letting me type anything. Huh. Oh, I think we're good now. All right. <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah, I like this. Again, it is vintage. All right, guys. I'm looking for $10 on this. Again, no chips or cracks or anything. I was wondering if you were going to come in for this Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch is in at 10 <laughs> $10 a Cool Ranch. We're looking for 11 And is that marked anywhere at all? Mm-mm. Nope. Hey, Bonnie F. Welcome, welcome. Yes, if you could send me an email to Tiffany's Cool Finds at gmail.com. It's scrolling across the screen with your YouTube name, real name, zip code, and PayPal info. I will get you a wrench. It'll be good to, to bid for forever. It'll be good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's right, cool wrench. All right, we got Cool Ranch in at 10. We are looking for that $11 bid. And if there is no other interest, let me get back to my screen here. Oh, come on. We're going to go once a Cool Ranch for $10, looking for 11 Going twice. April, coming in at 11 We're looking for 12 <laughs> I get eleven dollars with April looking for twelve dollars. Cool ranch back at twelve or looking for thirteen. And 
Yeah, that's a wicked nice piece. Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> April's at 14. We're looking for 15 now. Oh, shoot. Forgot to check the mail today. Hope they didn't leave anything in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Jose. <laughs> Can you go check the mail now? Thanks. <laughs> cool Ranch is in at 20. Looking for 21 or 22. Oh, snap. Got a fight going. That's right. <laughs> I'm definitely going to make a late night mail run downstairs. <laughs> um, yeah, that would beg me all night long. Yep. <laughs> And April is out, so we're going to go once a cool ranch for $20. Looking for $21 or $22. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. And you're sold to cool ranch. Congra congratulations. All right. Thank you, cool ranch. All right. I got another one. Oh. Starting at 10. She's like, damn it. And this one's not marked either. That's just a beautiful piece. You got the eye for that stuff, man. I tell you. Well, this guy was a collector for many, many years. And like you should have seen his place. It was packed from room to room of all kinds of stuff like this. He traveled all over the world and everything. He's a well-known uh, collector here in Arkansas, but passed away recently. And apparently he had a bunch more of this stuff down in El Dorado. Oh. That his family was trying to get up here to sell it as well. Guess who's in? Cool ranch. <laughs> <laughs> he's in for $10, looking for $11 on this. I love the handle on this one. It's just so different. And I think that's what catches my eye is stuff that's different. You just don't see it every day. Mm -hmm. You look for pretty. I look for, for funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure how good the pink is coming across, but it's pink up here at the top. And of course you got the gold trim in there. Any other interest in this? We got Cool Ranch at 10. We're looking for 11. <laughs> I'm not sure how bad that lag is getting, so I'm going to call it slowly. We're going to go once to Cool Ranch for $10. It's not sold until I type sold. We're going to go twice. Last call. Air warning. And sold the Cool Ranch. Congratulations. All right. Thank you, Cool Ranch. And if, was that two? I, I don't three? know. Was was that three? Another one. I don't know. Okay. I can't remember. I can't, I can't count at normal hours the night. Never mind this time. <laughs> All right. And then $12 start on this one. It's true, you know. <laughs> you got the green, you got the gold in there, little handles. I think this is more like a butter dish. I don't know why it's got this petty stuff off there, but I'll clean it up if anybody decides they want it. I don't know if maybe he was using it to set it up, maybe display. Should have bought it all, Renee. <laughs> There was a ton. I've sold some of it uh, previous auctions, too. All right, guys. We are looking for $12 to start on this beautiful piece. And the apartment that he was in, it was so weird. It's like, does it match? I mean, it's got the gold in it. Your other pieces, like this one's got some pink and green in it. That you just bought, and it's got the floral print as well. And this one's more of the blue with the gold. 
Kind of, sort of. Yeah, they're, they're very similar. But the guy's bathroom is like he stepped up to the toilet. It's like on a platform looking thing. It was weird. <laughs> like, you really want to be sitting on the throne, don't you? <laughs> and then we're going to take a quick... I, I did not discuss this with Scooter, but we're going to take an intermission after this piece. And uh, I'm going to do a giveaway. Scooter can if she wants. Does She does not have to, but I am. So I appreciate <laughs> you guys all hanging out with us uh, at this time of night. And <laughs> I got you, Bonnie. Thank you so much. Um, let me see. Let me get you a wrench. And you're good to go. <clears throat> well, we're looking for $12 on this. All right. Awesome. Cool, dude. All right, guys. In five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to go ahead and pass this. All right. And All right. that was my three. I'm going to bring us both up. We're going to hang out for a minute, guys. I'm going to do a giveaway. I got a sterling silver pendant here. It's a, it's not huge. and It's not tiny. It's pretty, you know, it's a good size. Anyway, this is going to be my, my, my giveaway. I have a number written down. I got Scooter here to help me. Scooter, I'm putting my number <laughs> in the private chat. All right. So you can help me find it. <laughs> got it. All right, guys. So what's going to happen? I'm going to, you're going to pick numbers one through 60. Guess as many times as you want. I don't really care how many times you guess. The first person that I see to come in with my number will be the winner. One through 60. Go. Put your numbers in. Go, go, go. Giveaway. You win a sterling silver pendant. Guess as many times as you guys want. Oh, wow. <laughs> you guys can stop. Laura got it right off the bat. Yep. 16. That was way Congratulations, way Laura. Congratulations. Mr. Picky. Let me get you a wrench, Mr. Picky. <laughs> and welcome. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. But thank you, Laura. I got you, girl. Laura was the winner. She caught it right off the bat. <laughs> the other, if you guys are watching my morning auction, <laughs> no one was getting it. And I did one through 100. I'm like, oh my God. I, know, I, know. I was trying to watch it for you while I was at work. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. All right, Laura, I got you down, girl. <laughs> Mike said that shit was rigged. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shit, man, come on. Be like that, fine, fine. Want to be like that? We're gonna do another giveaway. Another <laughs> sterling, another sterling silver pendant. Hold on, I gotta write my number. I was gonna say, put your number in chat. You know, I'm just gonna put it in the private chat. How about that? No, wait, I'm gonna write it down. I like writing it down. I feel like it's not, <laughs> it's not gonna be rigged this way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got my number right here. One through sixty. Go pick your number. One through sixty. Oh yeah, I forgot to put it in the chat. One through sixty. Who's gonna be the winner? Who 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 who's gonna be? Hmm, some of you are close. Oh, there we go again. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, stop right oh, there. Winner. Winner. Lori Hayes, right? Yep. Lori Hayes, you got it. 59. 59 was the number. There we go. Congratulations, Lori. Stop right there. We got a winner. Lori Hayes is the winner. This. <laughs> Congratulations, Lori. Lori and Laura. <laughs> All right. Woohoo. All right. That was my two giveaways for the night. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for hanging out and uh, supporting us all the time. We really appreciate you. So I wanted to just do a little and something. Then give back. I'll, I'll do a giveaway, but this one, I'm going to make it kind of interesting. It'll be for dollars all. But whoever. Um, 
Well, crap, hold on. I just need one. So whoever gets the number, you'll get to pick between two different uh, sticky notes that I've got written down. So I'm going to put it in chat. Okay. And actually, oh. we'll do two numbers, and then whoever gets the first one will get to pick first, and whoever's the second one will get the second one. Hold so, on a second. I, got yeah, I think Julia came in after Lori Hayes put that in. Who put 59 first? On my screen, I've got... Lori Hayes first, and then Julia came in, and then Picky Nikki came in at 59. <laughs> okay, gotcha. All right, I'll let you go, Scooter. Sorry. Okay, so again, I'm going to have two numbers. Whoever gets the two numbers, um, the first person that hits the first number will get to pick first, and whoever's the second number will get the second prize. The numbers, don't, the numbers don't start until we put go in the chat. No guessing okay. yet. Ready? And this will be 1360 as well. Ready, set, go. Oh, crap. Two numbers. Okay. <laughs> okay, now they start counting after the start. Yep. So if you put your number in before the start, redo it. Oh, gosh, it just flew. Okay, I, I see one. KJ yep. got one of them. Yep. And she's the first one. Oh, we need one more number. Keep on going, guys. Keep on going. Got it, got it. It's uh, 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 April. <laughs> yep. April got the second one. All right, so KJ, since you uh, got the first number, number one or number two? Number one is the green, number two is the orange. And as you can see, those are the numbers that I picked out. One or two, and that will tell you what you get. Almost like deal or no deal. Kind of. <laughs> AJ and April. Congratulations, you guys. Woohoo! Number one. All right. You'll get $5 all. And we'll make this to the end of July, so in case you don't have anything with me yet. So that is KJ. And then April, you're going to get $4 all. So congratulations. Awesome, guys. Congratulations. That was fun. I like doing it like that. It's a little bit faster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for playing. I'm going to, we'll go, probably do like another couple rounds and uh, let you guys go night night <laughs> or, or party or whatever it is you do. So I'm going to bring myself back up. <laughs> we should do trivia. <laughs> trivia would be fun. Scooter and I were talking about that a few months ago, but we never ended up executing it. So uh, we might, we might uh, need to do like a, how well do y'all know us? Maybe, maybe we'll do that on our one year, because if y'all been watching us for a year, you should know a lot about us. We shouldn't do that. That's not good. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. All right, guys. <laughs> bring the money. All right, guys. I'm going to bring myself up. <laughs> okay. This one here, this is really, oh, jeez, I just got to go back. This is really, really pretty. Um, I found this. I do believe someone handmade this. It's a beautiful decorative piece. I'm going to do this as free shipping because it's going to go in a box all by itself. <laughs> I hate trivia. I love deal and no deal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We're going to start this off at $25 free shipping. It's all oh, wow. made of wood. It has like that crackle effect to it. It's super pretty. You get screw down here. Um, it does need to be tightened up, but I I can do that. I should have done that before, but I didn't. But then you've got this um, really pretty floral print horse, and it's got some rhinestone jewelry for the, um, what do you call this piece here? It's got a beautiful saddle, beautiful um, yarn for the, you know, the horse's mane and tail and all that fun stuff. 
I'm gonna ship this. I'm I'm good, guys. I got this. And then you get some like little floral um, <laughs> pieces up here, but it's super super pretty. Look how beautiful it is. There it is. So it is a big piece. I will ship this twenty five dollars to start free shipping because it's going out by itself. It cannot go with anything. <laughs> Bring it back here. And again, I'm going to tighten up that screw down there. It's super easy. Take me two seconds. But, oh, God. I thought I would bring it up and see if you guys, if anybody was interested in it. Um, she, she's big. Well, she's not huge. But, you know, it would be a nice piece to put, like, in a corner of a room. Um, Nobody talks about my size like that. Who, me? I'm just with you. <laughs> There we go. But there's that. I wasn't sure if there was any interest in this. It's pretty. Ooh. It's really hard to show, too. Like, really hard. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, guys. Any interest in this guy? There we go. All right. And if not, I'll put it to the side. Thought I would give it a shot. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're going to do this one. <laughs> this, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a Build-A-Bear. We're going to do a $5 start on this one. Just got the black bear. He's got the Build-A-Bear tag right here. You get the other Build-A-Bear little taggy do right there. Really good condition. Cute little guy. Five dollars to start. <laughs> there he is. He would look good if you guys could find some build a bear uh, clothes with like a red plaid shirt and like a you know a lumberjack's hat and all that fun stuff and some boots. He'd look cute as heck. Five dollars start on uh, the black bear. We got KJ in at five. We're looking for six dollars. I got all kinds of plush today, you guys. Like so much plush. I already had a bunch of plush, so maybe I'll do a plush auction here soon too. <laughs> oh, that's right. We got KJ at five. We're looking for six. Um, let me go to my channel real quick. Tomorrow, Scooter and I are coming on at three p.m. Eastern. We're going to be doing shoot, but not not shoes. Clothing, clothing tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, uh, no, no shoes. <laughs> shoes next month, but not not again. Here's the link to tomorrow's auction at 3 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be selling some clothes. I'll have some graphic tees. I don't have a whole lot right now. I didn't have any luck the past week getting any. Um, you know what you're going to do? Now come and hang out with us. And if there's no other interest in the black bear, sell it to uh, KJ for five bucks. All right. We are going once. Going twice. Last and final call. And we are sold. Thank you, KJ. Appreciate it. Okay. And then my third one for this round. Um, I'm going to do a three dollar start. This is the littlest bears. Handcrafted and fully uh, jointed. Got to get gunned. This is grandma, grandmother bear. Brand new in the box. 1994 is when it's from. 1994. Mm -hmm. Got to get gunned. So it's just a little bear. Itty bitty little thing. Here she is. There's grandma. She's in her box. Hanging out. She's got her uh, picnic basket there. Try not to get it. So oh, that's a little bit better. We got Lori coming in. Was this a three dollar start? Sure was. Sorry guys. All right, we got Lori coming in at three. KK's at four. We're looking for five. <laughs> yeah, really good condition. Nineteen ninety four is down here. There it is. The littlest bears. Lori's at five. We're looking for six. Hey, Tiff, I'm going to mute myself real quick. Yeah. yeah. There you go. $5. Looking for $6. What you thinking, KJ? 
That grandmother bear. Oh, yeah. It says it down there. Mother. Okay. We got Lori at five. Looking for six dollars. KJ, are you out? I don't know. She's looking sideways. I think she's on another one of her screens. Like in her office, she has like five or six computer screens. I don't. I think she's trying to take over the world or something. Can you I'm hear thinking. me? No, not while. Well. Yeah, now again. I, I'm. I'm trying to figure out how much I was selling these Razorback salt shakers for. It's killing me. <laughs> so I'm going back and watching the replay real quick. <laughs> KJ's at six. Lori is out. You're good, girl. I think it was five bucks you were doing them. Going once to KJ for six. Looking for that $7 bid. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to KJ. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, Scooter. That was my three. Are you ready or do you need a minute? I'm ready. I figured it out. <laughs> All right. begging me. I was like, what did I start those out at? <laughs> All right, guys. Let me finish putting that on there so I don't forget. Okay. I got one more of these. Um, this one is not marked either. I think all my other ones I sold before were marked. But, again, similar to the other items, this one has a double handle. It's got the gold here on the top. The lid comes off. And then it's clean on the inside. There might be like a hairline uh, crack in there. I don't know if that's a crack or not, though, to be honest. I, it doesn't look like one. But anyways, um, we'll start this off at five. And then on this side, you got the bow again. So just real pretty. Looking for a five dollar start on this. Those are valuable but hard to locate on images. Yeah. Any interest in this? Looking for Five dollars to start. All right, guys. If there's no interest in this, we'll pass it. All right. Uh, cool Ranch bought the little uh, pictures that match it. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I, I hold my breath every time I send y'all's packages out. All right. And then I'll bring this back up. I think this is an agate stone. It reminds me of those, um, what is it, pedestal and something where you can mix, grind, grind up stuff. So like a, it makes me like think a, of that kind of stone. Like a mortar or something? Yeah, 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 that was it. That's the word I thought it was, but. Tiffany, I thought this looked like sunny side up. <laughs> so we'll start this off at five dollars. It is open on the inside. Yeah, mortar and, and yeah. less castle, yeah. Looking for a five dollar start on this. And I would say this is probably a good um, two pounds, probably. Yeah, those are heavy. Mhm. Mm Any interest in this?
And if not, we'll pass it. All right. Not a problem. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was alabaster or like an agate of some sort because it had those um, lines in it. All right. And then for my third item. $10 start. Winner gets choice. I'm going to bring these back up again. These are uh, Zippo lighters. The first one is Paris, Las Vegas. And there's the Zippo right there. And then this one is the Phoenician, Las Vegas. Again, Zippo right there as well. They're on Etsy. That's a carb agate. So these are in great condition, both Zippo. Ten dollars a start. Winner gets their choice. Any interest in this? <laughs> yeah, cool ranch. You're the one to always worry about. <laughs> Their box is just loaded with breakable stuff. Right. There was that one piece I sent her that had like the, um, it was that wide glass. It was real pretty, but anyways, I was so worried about that one getting to her. <laughs> Picky Nikki's at 10, looking for 11. Any other interest in this? We're going to go once to Picky Nikki for $10. Looking for $11 on this. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold. Picky Nikki, congratulations. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Picky Nikki, which one or, or one or, or what am I trying to say? Which one or do you want both? <laughs> <laughs> ah yes and both all right you got it thank you picky nikki and that was my three okay and are you down to make this the last round sure okay here we go so i know i brought these up before but i still got some left so i'm gonna bring them back up fifteen dollars buy it now i have about five left they are Wilton uh, Springform pans. You get a set of three. They're brand new. They're nonstick. Uh, three different sizes. Nine by two and three quarters. A uh, ten by two and three quarters. And then you get a... Oh, crap. Twenty-five by four. Did Ugh. you say you had five of these left? Yeah. The glass piece, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like, all I was picturing was Cool Ranch sitting on that dining room table. <laughs> <laughs> Strike a pose. <laughs> That's right. So brand new in the package. Spring form uh, pan set. You get three of them. $15 buy in now. Great for cheesecakes and other stuff that you use that for. I'm not too much of a baker once in a while, but I never used one of these before. I probably should, though. It might actually help me a little bit. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I liked it because I used it for um, my Pamper Chef uh, oh. recipes for anything that was cheesecake because Pamper Chef had one of those. We got Bonnie coming in at 15. Bonnie, how many would you like? She's got five of them. You got it. And, Bonnie, um, you're new here, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I invoice every Sunday, so keep your um, invoice open. I... Do like a ten dollar dollar flat shipping for every nineteen pounds or so. Um, so just keep it open, add some more stuff, and uh, I'll combine everything for you. Don't pay it, and then when you do pay it in full, I will uh, ship everything out to you. And she said, "One, sense. please." You got it. Hope that made sense. I know I'm, I I stumble my words sometimes. Thank you, Bonnie. Okay, I got Bonnie for one. I do have some more available if anybody's interested. Um, I showed this earlier. 
The bid went up to seven on choice. This one was left. I'm just going to do a $4 buy it now. This is Donald Duck. It's a Wilton Pan. Um, 1983 on him. $4 buy it now. 1983 Donald Duck Wilton Pan. So happy. Hey, happy birthday. Lori Hayes, $4. You got it, Lori. Thank you, thank you. Wilton Donald Duck. And let's do... Um, well, gee, I didn't really get too much repaired, did I? Oh, I'll just do this. I brought this up earlier, but I like to clear out my stuff at the end of the night sometimes. $2, buy it now. $2, buy it now. Really country. A necklace kit. Cut and paste. It's all like wooden beads, and this is a 1986. Brand new in the package. So there's all the directions on the card right there. Teach you to do whatever it is you got to do. Picky Nikki, I got you for this one. Thank you so much. And we're sold to Picky Nikki. Got it. All right. And that was my three. Are you ready, Scooter? All right, give me one sec. You're good. All right. All right. There you go. Okay. And I'm just going to finish out my last ones with uh, some more lighters. I believe. I might do a hodgepodge here. Okay. $10 start. Winner gets choice. This one is... Oh, for the life of me, it's the color, color Brill or something like that. But it's a cigar. It's got the cigar cutter there. And then the lighter. So it's a combo. So there's your first one. You light it right there. And this one is that same brand. I think it's... Uh, I'm going to butcher it. Calibril as well. This one does have a letter... I think it's a K. But this one looks vintage as well. Ooh. That lit there. I don't know if it lit or not. Anyways. And then the third one here. Good Lord. It is after midnight, guys. Winston Noble. And there you go. So three more of these. You got the cigar lighter combo. Colibri. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank you, Corinth. So both of these are that same brand. And then you got the Winston. All right, guys. Looking for that $10 start. Winner gets their choice on these lighters. I think this one was going for like $50 online. $50? Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Picky Nikki's in at 10. We're looking for 11. I got a big old nasty bruise on my hand. It's like, how in the world did I get that? <laughs> All right, guys. If there's no other interest in this, we're going to go once to Picky Nikki for $10. Looking for 11. Oh, and twice. Last call. Air warning. And you're sold to Picky Nikki. Congratulations. All right, Picky Nikki, thank you, thank you. Which one or ones would you like? That's what I was trying to say earlier. You got the Winston. You got the one with the, I think that's okay. She said the one for $50. All right, this one, you got it. If anybody's interested <laughs> in the Winston or the other one, just let me know in chat. <laughs> Good choice, Picky Nicky. Right? <laughs> All right. And then my second one, I got a few more lighters. This one is, it's got the year 2000 on it. And then you can just pop it up right there. 
And then you got this one is a Zippo. Again, $10 start. This one has FG on it. And then the third one here, this one is K-R-F-I-S-L-E-R. I have no idea how to pronounce that. So there's that one. And again, there's that. And it says on the inside here, I think it's Chrysler is how it's pronounced. Light sponsor. So I don't know what that area right there is supposed to be. You get Cool Ranch in at 10. We're looking for $11 on this. When I get her choice. We're going to go once to Cool Ranch for 10. Going twice. Last call. Fair warning. Sold to Cool Ranch. Cong congratulations. Which one are ones would you like? Thank you, Cool Ranch. So you got the 2000, you got the Zippo, which was this one right here. And then you got this one, the Chrysler, I guess is how you pronounce it. That one right there. All right, you want the Zippo, I'm assuming, right? Yep. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So if anybody's interested in these other two, you just let me know in chat. Got it. Thank you, thank you. All right, and then this last thing, I'm just throwing a whole bunch of stuff together. And we'll just start this off at $5. So the first thing you're going to get are these Lexor tokens. So it's got Luxor. I don't even, can't even remember if Luxor is even in business in Vegas anymore or not. <laughs> and the second thing you're going to get in this is a knife. The Kinkos. It's got, I think, like the little scissors. It's got the uh, two different blades on this side. So you got that. And then it comes with a little pouch. The third item you're going to get, I think this is Swiss. A little key, key ring. And then this last item is Texas Association Magicians 2002. Some sort of magic wand. Oh. It's a hodgepodge of stuff here. So. You got Mike in at five. We're looking for $6. Get a knife, you get a magic wand, a keychain, and something else. I'm having a brain cramp. Token. Yeah, let's look at these tokens, see if it had a value on it, but I'm not seeing anything. Because I was like, oh crap, I should have looked at that first. Any interest in this? Looking for that five, uh, six dollar bid. We got Mike in at five. All right, guys, we're gonna go once to Mike Kretzer for five dollars. Looking for six dollars. Oh, and twice. Hey, Joy. Hey. A little late night action. That's right. We're on a few hours later than usual. We're about to hop off though. <laughs> <laughs> Last call. Fair warning, sold to Mike. All right, thanks, Mike. And that was my three. I'm going to bring us both up. KJ, you came in a little bit too late, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> um, guys, here's the link for tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m. Eastern. Oops. There you go. We're going on for some. No, that's the link for right now. Um, just forget about it. <laughs> what? I put the link in for what, what we're doing right now. <laughs> I had a moment there. Forget about that one. Uh, this one right here. Sorry. We're going on 3 p.m. Eastern for some clothes. 
next week, I think we're going to try to hit up a, uh, I want to do some plush. And then if Scooter has a, an abundance of something, we'll bring that up too. Uh, some jewelry, a little bit of everything. Um, so guys, you all have a wonderful night. Hit that thumbs up on your way out. Make sure you're mm -hmm. subscribed. Uh, for the new folks here tonight, thank you so much for being here and, and to the folks that have been with us forever. Just thank you, everybody, and uh, we'll see you later. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Thanks.